record. Cloning started. Okay. Yep, I can see. All right. I'm sorry, you have to listen to this. Oh, no. <laughs> it's okay. Classic gold. Nice, I like this. At this point, I would actually probably just mute him. Yeah, I, I don't usually mute my teammates no matter how dumb they are, unfortunately. For this recording. You probably could have moved over smart. here, although it's not a huge deal. Yvain is alone, although... I double smoke because the first mate yeah. was bad, so I re smoke. Okay, it's unfortunate you had to send both smokes on, on Heaven, but okay, so we go help Yvain out, I like this. You also reloaded. It's good. You've got mail. Now you guys have two picks. The enemy team is probably thinking that they're going to start to rotate over A, so either you guys need to commit right away, or you need to get out. Yeah, you guys basically should have sight. Let's see, did you have a smoke? Oh, you didn't have smoke, that's unfortunate. TV1 should be winnable. I think there you did mostly everything that you were supposed to do. Only thing I think it was just like, don't spend two smokes on heaven. If you had a smoke for CT spawn, for example, then like pushing through here, no. then. Oh, well, actually, you. Uh. Like, heaven is smoked up to around here. Now it's dissipated, right? So this tells you that uh. either the smokes are too early or your team, like, shouldn't have waited around for so long and uh, that's not necessarily on you like that's kind of like like you do your job you're pushing too long but then like three of you guys are long like somebody sage or jet should go with the arena hardly sage so that smoke i thought was bad it didn't cover enough yeah the smoke was bad that better work maybe So Vayner actually made was... contact with somebody and didn't die immediately. Interesting, you guys got both smoke. At this point then, actually I would just turn around because you know that the enemy omen just spent both his smokes. I mean, you also spent both your smokes as well. But mm. there's at least one, maybe two people on site and like you guys are like at a standstill. Unless you both, both uh, the people at long, like the jet and you guys at sewers push through the respective smokes. But you get to pick but here, does that change things? It does to some extent, but you still have to like push through the smoke, right? And like, Vienna has to burn a, a flash to do so. Although this is not necessarily on you because like, you're not to-do list. You like, your job is just to just kind of follow your team and smoke them in. So I should follow, the team made a bad play. They should have rotated, but I should still have done that because I'm falling off the bad play. Like I meant to. Yeah, I mean, if your team like decides to commit, you just have to commit with them. And part of the best thing you could do is just like calm to them like, hey, we should back out or hey, we should commit like ASAP instead of just sitting around. Yep. Yep. Let's see, did you look at the loadouts at all? Okay, we're, nah, okay, we're forcing to some extent. Two, two people are forcing, I think. Or this this going around. Okay, I would actually start waiting toward A because you got a pick. Unfortunately, you only have one smoke oh and you just God. used it. I'm ready to push on spawn when you are. Uh, okay, this is not necessarily a bad idea. Your team is like perfectly ready to execute onto A. The only thing is that you don't have your second smoke, so you can't smoke heaven. Watching the flank here is not necessarily a bad idea because second round the enemies do like to push. I feel like push the round. Okay, so I really like your timing here. You're watching flank for like as, as long as you could, and then as soon as your team is like ready to push in, you actually rotated to help with them. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's really cool you said that. Because I actually wasn't sure what I was doing there, but I yeah. think it was just a bit of instinct. Like, oh, I, this is the time I should go with my team now. But although, although looking at the mini-app, like, your team, like, should just, like, push in right now. They're probably, maybe the block because of a smoke or something. Yeah, they're probably because blocked because of a smoke. But then you just, you manage to come right at the right time. <laughs> One enemy wow, a bit lucky then. Okay, how's the smoke looking? Where did you smoke? Where's the smoke? Oh, we didn't smoke, okay. I would just I would just burn the smoke, because, like, you have nothing to lose. I'm a server chat, boys. I watched an immortal gun, how to place your darts. It's, it's a different story if you, like, you have to spend money, but his his smokes recharge. I'll be back. I'm gonna go finish the gun. I see. So if you have a smoke, you might as well just, just, just use it. I see. I see. <laughs> Next time I get an annoying teammate, I think I'll just mute them, just for you at least. <laughs> you don't have to hear it. <laughs> so let's, let's look at loaders again. We have two rifles. Sage has a rifle, Wayne has a rifle, only two some pistols. Let's see who dies, because uh, what's key is that the people who have rifles who die, they need to pick up their guns ASAP. Or someone needs to pick up their guns, like that Raynard is dead, somebody needs to pick it up. Silver needs right. to pick it up, well Silver's dead, so you know, Sage has a gun. Right. So I should go to my team right now and pick up the gun. Well I think so. There's so many guns down. I think Silver just picked it up though. I mean, the only issue I have with this is that, like, we're we're kind of just watching angles, and we're not getting any value right now. Okay, like this, you're smoking for your Sova. You're stopping a little bit too loud, though. I mean, Sova's trying to walk, obviously. You should pick up that gun ASAP. It's good. One tap, get the gun ASAP. Yep. You might even just play him on the smoke, because you're omen. Okay, so we decided to play a little safe. Uh, bomb is planted for long, so that's good. You can just reload here. Because you're in a pretty safe position to do so. I would go into site, help you Sage. Even though Bomb is planted for long, like Sage needs help. And you can always fall back toward long. Okay, not bad. Alex, Alex said, yeah. Yeah, this is the issue. Now that um, Sage is dead, now you're, st you're stuck in a 1v2. You flash the bomb person, but there's gonna be something to you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Team Ace. Oh. Um, can we please pause it there? Because sure. I feel like you made a lot of good points. So, in that situation, um, I wasn't sure what to do there. I remember thinking, should I play off the stage or should I play long? And then I thought, well, bomb's planned for long. I can buy time and yeah. who cares and bait the sage. But, like, it didn't work. Like that worked. I did beat the sage, <laughs> and then I lost. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, in that situation, uh, are you saying I should be playing with my team, right? Yeah, you have to play with your sage, even though the be the better play is to play long. Although it's kind of iffy because um, you you still have to deal with omen smoke, and you still have to deal with a sage wall, assuming she still has a wall. So it's not like a clean and cut like go long automatically win round, but. It's still generally the better play because sight is hard to hold with limited number of people, and also be if Sage in that situation, like Sage was like she's trapped on sight, around like after around the time like Silver dies, right? Here Sage is stuck on on sight, and I think she won't garage. Okay, yeah, she won't garage. So that means the only entrance is City Spawn, but still like she's stuck on sight and not really able to get out, right? So what's going to happen is that she is going to get pushed 2v1 and then the enemy team is going to push you 2v1 instead of like you guys setting up crossfires or you guys playing off each other etc etc. I, I guess my plan was to 
even if I was in a 1v2, I guess the plan was that I could somehow prevent them from defusing. But I think what I wasn't expecting at all was the omen smoke, which forced me to push into the 1v2. Right. That makes sense. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess, um, should I be in this situation? Uh, is it just like, like you said, in this situation, 2v2, you know, um, just play defend with your team or is it like maybe what i did was okay had there been no smoker on the other team i think even if it wasn't sage and it wasn't omen like say if it was um let's say you know they had no util then you have to worry about yeah. smoke a wall i think you still have to play off your sage because of the still, fact that okay. it would be a 2v1 followed by another 2v1 yes, sir. and you can still go along like afterward like say if um um, they push 2v1 and then Sage dies, but you trade somebody, then af af right after that, then you go you treat, you go long. Or like you go into Cubby, you sit in Cubby, or you sit in Cubby for a little bit, you make some noise, maybe you like, you jump peek, you jump peek, whatever, then you TP out further away, whatever, whatever. Like, just like continually buy time. Okay. Um, in a 1v2 though, yep. like... Let's say I was at 1v2 and they had no utility in that situation. Someone would tap the spy or go for the defuse up to them. The other person would protect and watch long. Yep. Um, so, assume they're tapping, I would still have to fight a 1v2. And that's that would still be bad, even without utility, basically. Because it's a 1v2. Right. Right? Right. Right. So, no matter what I do, if the so, other team yeah. plays correctly, I'm in a 1v2, which means I shouldn't win that. Right. Basically. So, in the 1v2 situation where you're at long, it's still not necessarily like an automatic win. Like, I kind of imagine that you would have to hug this wall to your left, so you're like you're slightly closer compared to the wall on the right. Or if you sit in cubby, then actually burn your flash so you can flash at least one of them and hopefully isolate a 1v1 while the other person is blind. Yep. Yeah, try to like, isolate two yeah. 1v1s instead of one 1v2. Right, but, right, that would be the goal. Because otherwise what would normally happen if you don't do anything, someone taps the bomb, you swing out, and then you end up peeking two people. Yep, makes sense. The funny thing is I actually am used to f holding this position like this in a 1vx situation, 1v2. I've done 1v2s from this position before. I don't know how it goes, sometimes I win, sometimes I lose, but... Um, I remember doing them and <laughs> I guess I just keep doing them, but uh, now that you say this, I guess I'll just try to play more with my team more and, and avoid the sort of independent play, whatever, solo play that yeah. I do. Hmm. But I do like the smoke a lot. This completely isolates one of the angles. Now the only angle you have to worry about is, is the logs. Yep. But uh, it's like, it's kind of too late. Ideally what I want to see happen is that you do that smoke and then actually you hug this wall to your right, right? And you wait for Sage to make contact with logs or garage, whichever. And then yep. you swing out from this right wall. Yeah, use, 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 use Sage as, as contact, as yeah. first contact. But yeah. all, this is all assuming that you don't get smoked out. Here you're smoked out, so it like, goes to shit, so. Okay, any other questions so far? Um, I think that's the... Uh, I'm good, I'm good. That's no, fine. Thank you. Bye, Janet. Okay, we got four guns from AFK. It's fine, so... You just want to play slow until Sof comes back. Alright, he's back already. I would hide bomb. I would not. I know. I would not pick anything with bomb. I see. Oh, yeah, I need someone to entry for me. I mean, this position oh, is relatively safe, but Reloading. just in general. So Kevin, oh, it's a little, little bit too early. Your team's not ready to push on the site yet. Nobody's able to push on the site yet. Well, Sage oh, Sage is, did. Yeah, okay. Sage did. Sa yeah. Sage should probably not peek because uh, you guys are only two at long, but three at sewer. Sewer should make more noise because you guys have more people there. You saw DP, I would back out of this. I would get out. Immediately. 
We see this many people, so like, okay, go back to this. Found them. We see four people <laughs> on site. <laughs> How do we get the hell out of here? Yeah, this is kind of pushy because you guys push a little bit too early, like you and the sage. You guys are just two at long, but you have three people in sewers. Since you have three in sewers, those people should move faster, play more aggressive, and make first contact. But here, you're making first contact. All the way around. Hmm, I see. You guys get gunned down. Okay. So, could we pause it there? Because sure. I think it's just a good point. So. Uh, in that situation, so I was trying to smoke, with, I guess, for the sage, even though the sage technically shouldn't enter. Um, do you think that was a bad smoke, or do you think I could have smoked later? Is that what you're suggesting? Yeah, it's kind of iffy because ideally the sage shouldn't peak that early, which then makes it so that you don't have to smoke that early. But because the sage was like forcing a peak when she. When the other the rest of the team was wasn't ready, then it kind of forces you to smoke early when the rest of the team isn't ready. Yeah. So. And uh, yeah. yeah. Um, and when we got smoked out, I'm not sure why, but I think I did push. I did entry on long, as sort of the team short started to move forward. Uh, but what you're sort of suggesting is I should actually play that bit slower. Wait for the three short players to go in first, and then go in. Yeah. So time it a bit slower. Yes. Uh, okay. Um, and, and and the moment those three four players spotted, my brain <laughs> read that as, oh, I, we know where they are. So now we can push now knowing where they are. But uh, I should have been like, oh, so now I know they're all on site. There's no way we should push. <laughs> yeah. Like so, I, I, we had like the same information, but like I got like, the completely wrong interpretation somehow. Generally, as attackers, you want to go where the enemy is not. Yeah, I understand that, but somehow in the moment where I saw all those enemies, I was just like, oh, but it's great because we know they're behind trucks, so now we know where they are. So I was like, oh, great, we can just kill them. But yeah. it just, yeah. It might be a different yeah. story if you had your flash, then you could like, oh, great, I see everybody, I'm going to just flash everybody and then like aggressively push out. But because you don't yeah. have anything except smoke and TP, then... You can't really make plays like that. I say, I say, I guess my brain read it like this, like, because we know their locations, like, we have more information in this sort of engagement, so we should engage because we have the information advantage, even though the numbers are the same. Does that make mm. sense? I guess so, but it's still... It's still harder than it, than it would be, like, if you... Knew there's only one person on C site, and then you get all five of you go, you guys push C. Like, that's yep. a 5v1 instead of a 5v4. Yep. It's still hugely risky, right? Because of the numbers. And it's just, just such a, it's just, just like, if you compare that decision to just, like you said, just running it, rotating, just rotating super quick, it's just, yeah, okay, okay, I see, I see. It's just like weighing the options, right? Right, you want as many unfair fights as possible. A 5v4 yep. fight is actually pretty fair, or close to fair. Yep. Okay. I, I think so too. And it would have worked because I feel like the team actually chose to rotate there. I was the only one that went engaged. Everyone else rotated, like you said. Uh, so that, yeah, okay. Noted. Alright, thank you. Okay. So, yeah, I'm actually surprised your team still has money to buy. Okay. I think there's one on the left here. Good look. I would actually drop your gun for that Phantom because you would be in close range around here. Oh wow. You should also re reposition as well. Now that you've gotten that kill in garage, someone's gonna expect you to be in garage. I would I would spend a smoke to smoke CT. Yeah, there we go. A little bit too late though, looks like your your winner died. 
Yep, camp the body. We'll find the body and then camp it. Well, he knows. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I think yeah. his, body, his body was in CT, right? Yeah, I, I could hear his body, so I rushed it because I thought that was a free kill. But the smoke that I yeah. dropped actually saved his life. How unfortunate, right? Yeah. Ugh. Unlucky. I really like the look play. I think it could have been a bit faster, more decisive. That's all I could say. And also dropping the banner for a phantom because you're going to be in close range, so you're going to one tap everything, anyways. Also, the smoke timing could have been a bit quicker because um, your Reyna actually took an engagement before the smoke, like as the smoke was incoming. So he could have saved your Reyna's life. <clears throat> Something too, just to add from the previous round, I like this jumping a lot. Something too is that as soon as you killed that person in the garage, you actually had your ults. So you could have made like some crazy fake, like ulting oh. across the map, canceling it so that they think like, oh, maybe Omen's like a CP spawn or something. And make it makes it easier for you to like stay in garage or something like that. Oh, I see. So out in garage. Or just burning all, just like oh, no, fake no, somewhere. No. Okay, well. Not sure if I agree with this though. Anyone who's rotating is gonna hear you. Right? Yeah, cause I'm near CT. Like they sh anyone rotating to CT should have already heard that. Well, I guess they're deaf, okay? This is a risky play. Thirty seconds left. After you miss that whole, that whole spy, I would just back off. <laughs> and yep, I said push him, because this around here, like... You miss this play, okay, fine, but you flash, so it gives you another chance to peek. Right after this, I would just back off. Because by now, the flash has worn off, and now this is, right. like a, this is a fair fight, 1v1. Thirty seconds left. So, like... If you win it, yeah, that's perfect, but if you lose it, then that's like a huge loss in map control. Okay, interesting. So, what do you think about, um, so just another question, what do you think about wall banging the Phoenix there? Because I sort of know where he is behind the wooden box, right? If you knew he was low, and he like commits to staying there, then sure, go for it. But if he swings out, then you're going to get one tapped. Right, so. Okay. Yeah, yeah. One enemy remaining. Very nice. <laughs> I was trying to jiggle because I felt like I wanted to pressure but not yeah. die. If that makes sense? I don't know. Yeah. Like after you've made your presence known or after you killed your phoenix and then made your presence known, like your job right there is just to, like stay alive. As long as you're yep. alive, now they have to be worried whether when, whenever they push into a site that you might just immediately come and flank them. So I feel like it turned out like, I guess it was a good play because they didn't hear me, right? But like if they heard me, they would have investigated it. I mean, after the fact, after you kill the phoenix, you still stuck around to commit to the omen and commit to the, the chamber. When that's like higher risk than what you needed to take. Okay, I could have just not picked at all. Follow it. Okay, we're just doing stuff in right now. Okay, we get an ult, we lost a jet, so we should prepare for a res. Okay, we're just watching servers, okay. I would have been a smoke here actually, so that your sage doesn't have to wall. Well, actually, it depends where the body is. Yeah, I would burn a smoke because the body is out in the, out in the middle of the window. I think Sage is going to burn a wall to to get... Or I guess... It must have been smoked out, that's why she ain't wall. That's an interesting idea, smoke is better than wall, right? Cheaper. Yeah, smoke is much cheaper than wall. Also lasts significantly longer. Prepare smoke for seed to spawn, yep, very good. I would, yeah, this is the same situation as before, like, Sage is, like, being really aggressive, but the rest of the team's not ready. And then, because of that, you're forced to smoke early when your team is still a C long. Here, I would plant for long. 
Here we'll play for one. This is like a default plant, which is okay, but when your team is already covering things, like your your jet is covering garage, your um, your Rainer is covering logs, and then you you already know that nobody's on platform, so you're pretty safe to just plant for long. And this makes a big difference for like a uh, long term post plant. Yep. Es especially I your agree. your um your silver has ults. Well, too bad he's dead. Yeah, you can't go long anymore. You have to help your Reyna. Oh no, I did the same thing. You have no smoke. I would spend it with ASAP. Oh. I wouldn't hold this angle. I would smoke it. <laughs> yeah. And now you're smoked off and you're screwed. Yeah, you have to make play yeah. early. Make play early as, early as possible. Yep. Nice. Just stay alive. Reload. Hmm. Okay. I think you had time to reload there. You didn't have to like whip out your pistol. Because oh, like, I see. It's like minor details. Because like around here, you you peeked around the side, nice. and they haven't shown that they're gonna push with smoke. Right here, you can just like jump into cover. Reload. You're reloading. Oh, now right here is too late. I would start reloading like ASAP. Like right around here. It's the moment. Like, yep. The moment I finish getting the kill, basically, reload. The moment you get to. I canceled it. The moment you get to this spot here, like the other edge of the the. the the, the other smoke. edge of the smoke. Yeah, because I know they're not in the smoke anymore. They have to push yeah. through the smoke. That means like, I have like at least one second. I got you. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. What is minor details though, though, anyways? I think you probably would have died anyways. Interesting. That's what I said, but when I first started, like, one of yeah, my teammates, you know? Makes sense. Okay, we got four guns. The big issue of your team, your team, like, keeps voice, uh, five stacking everywhere. Do you think I should lurk? It's hard to say. I mean, it depends where you think you can get value from. If you can get value from looking, go ahead, do it. If you can get more value from being with your team, then I'd say be with your team. Because the issue of looking is that you're not able to like trade a teammate out. So unless you can trust your team to like execute properly and trade each other out properly. You will not kill my ally. See, so she's gonna die. Amazing, yep, there it is. Well, don't be, don't be. I wouldn't bother with this. The enemy team has not shown that they're oh, gonna push behind you guys. This is also the second okay. TP here, I wouldn't do that again either. Okay, let's skip this. There it is. I know you don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it at all. There's nothing you're gonna wallbang here. Unless you get into sight already and you can wallbang through boxes. Like this place is useless, you need to like smoke things. Okay, that's why we started off with just one smoke. <laughs> Which is really unfortunate because you have 2000 credits. Like here, Did I save here for the areas? Was I saving here with my team or was I? Uh, I think everyone was buying spectres, right? We so, got, yeah, I save, the save weapon. The idea was it to save. Um, At this point, I would give up this push because there's an opera on platform or somewhere in sight, and then your team has nothing to contest it. And then. Right here, I would give it a smoke. There's no point in spamming this. We look at Urena, she has your flash out. She's holding W into a smoke. Like, this is like clear body language, she's gonna push out. So, like, I see. yeah. You need to be able to read that and then, like, smoke. Like, smoke uh, either yeah. CT or smoke garage. Here, she takes a 1v1 and then she gets off. I think she's I was expected. just too focused on wall bang with the Aries, which was just too low, low probability. I just got carried away with the Aries a bit, I think.
Okay, what gun did Spectre? Okay, Spectre, I think. Was dropped. Hey, you probably want to talk to your sage, assuming that she's on voice, and be like, okay, what do you want to do? Do you want to go A? Do you want to go back to C? Do you want to make noise somewhere? You use all huge picks, but your sage is not with you. So you're, even though you got two picks, you're not really like capitalized and pushing to B. If she was with me there, maybe she that guy would have flanked me too, right? Yeah. So, yeah, the picks are huge, you guys are just aren't playing together. Oh, let's skip all this. I'm, I'm kind of happy, I did actually manage to get a wall bang with the Ares there. Like, through the wood. Really careful, be really careful with Viking. Oh you hear a Phoenix all, you want to not commit. You can peek this for info, just like hide, yep, yeah, hide. Even, sh even shooting 4 bullets is, is a little bit of a stretch, because like, you have to sit there for 4 bullets while he might kill you anytime. Okay, it looks like it's walls. I a flash. <laughs> Based on that flash, I would actually peek out a window, like jiggle peek or something to get info. Because he might push out after yeah. the flash, right? He, he might have pushed out, he might be grass right now, we don't know. Smoke is it has a gap. Yep. No. Okay, so Rainer flashes and then Omen is there, so it's 93. Okay, now the sage is like always always flanking. Unfortunate. Uh, how do you, uh, can I ask you about that blind? Like, yeah. some, a lot of the times I do that, I do these bad blinds where like, I try to blind this, the location where I think they are, but they just push. And then I peek someone who's not blinded in an angle that I'm not aiming at, and then I just lose. Yeah. I mean, uh, that's, the, that's the disadvantage of open flash. Like, it only goes in a line. And if they're not within a line, then, well, then they don't get blind. Is there a better way to use my blind here? Because I feel like I should blind, right? I have a blind. She's there. Yeah, um, you should, you should I, definitely I use it. The problem is that you don't know exactly where she is. You have a general idea, but you don't know if, like, for example, she could be oh. to the right side of this, right? Actually, this should be this should be a little bit more to the right because there's no point aiming it that far to the left. Okay, I guess I was thinking that if I was a sage, I would want to reposition after the kill instead of playing aggressive. <laughs> like but you had I was the right angle wrong. originally. Like, but when you pulled it out, like. This is a good angle. Down. Right around here is, yeah. is an okay angle, right? Because this covers everything except for to the right side, which is like um, T spawn. C. But yeah. this is too much to the left of angle. Oh no! Oh no! Now you're covering you're right. like too far to the left that you don't really she's need risk. to worry about. Because there's no way that she would be there. Or if she is there, she's not a threat once you peek. Yeah, even if she is there, like I thought she was, it doesn't matter because you just hide the left yeah, and I'll just, just like hide. the best it would just clear space and it wouldn't actually I mean it would do that yeah, it's just useless you're right it's a bit of a useless one isn't it yeah so I guess it just blind in a way that actually covers what's what I'm going to peek right yeah cover what you blind what you're gonna peek seems pretty obvious but I don't know yeah Oh, just, oh, okay, it's huge wall bang. Okay, like this. Clearing. Okay, and this is hundred percent clear, so now we would smoke. Your team really needs to smoke CT spawn. Yeah, Jet is now dead because there's no smoke at CT spawn. No. I think as soon as you cleared sewers, you just oh spend your smoke because your team really needed the help. The okay, let's get to this. Huge pick. 
You guys have not gone B a single time. I would actually just try to hit. I'd like to see a B hit this round. I don't know about this TP. No. <laughs> so I like the idea. The problem is that your team is not pushing onto A. So too early. Yeah, it's too early. Omen TPs, like aggressive TPs like this, are, are great when your team is like pushing into sight. So now the enemy team has to worry about the people on sight or they worry about you in heaven. So that's number one. The second thing is I want to TP here where your mouse is. You had it great where it was originally where you were around the corner. Like uh, You can see my thought process, I guess, in that little bit. Yeah. Like here. Like this part of heaven is a lot safer than this part of heaven, right? Where you're exposed to CT spawn, and due to how Omen's ultimate works, that you're not going to see CT spawn until the very end of your ult, or even worse, you might not see CT spawn until you're out of your ult. Like unfortunately, like um, no, well, fortunately that you spot the the chamber here who just like blindly runs into heaven, but. If he was smarter, he would just like hide around the corner, wait for your TP yeah. to finish, and then like kill you. Yeah, it's just a that all, like exposed places where you can get picked, and yeah. they know you're there, obviously. I can just high elo. I yeah. die there all the time, pretty much, right? Probably. The only Probably, time you want to yeah. ult in the, in the open like that is if you're ulting for information. You guys stay here, means you rotate. Yeah. The coin for rotate, Thanks. should rotate too. Trade. Oh, it's unfortunate. Okay. Now it's, now it's the time to get out. Oh, oh my God, right that jet train I peaked. <laughs> I don't think there's a point in holding this. Maybe if you really expect your rain to push along, I mean, she flashed along, but. Your team. For some reason, I, yeah. at least you should smoke CT spawn right now. Yeah. Like, like ASAP. Garage just walled. Start walking on here, yep. Your team really needs to smoke right now though. And your smoke is not on the cooldown because you only have one. Shadows traveling. I see how that was a bit late. The chamber it was yeah, always late, yeah. If you want to be really perfect, so like um right after so like if you smoke here, like right now, it's actually bad timing because um, Solver is actually hard holding the angle, or like holding the angle with, with an op. So any anybody who peeks, he's automatically at an advantage. If you smoke that off, then you you give up that advantage back to a 50-50. So ideally, you want to smoke right after he takes a shot, uh, or right, like right after he kills someone. So after you, he takes a shot and or he kills someone, right? Now there's like a period of like three seconds or so where he's vulnerable, where if the enemy team is smart, they're just like, they're just W key into them, right, In into him. But if you have your smoke, you drop your smoke right after the shot goes off, now Solo can like, take a second, or like, prepare his second shot very safely, with like, very low pressure. But here he's, he's getting a lot of pressure, he's probably playing wall bang right now, I would expect. Now the smoke is coming in, but the chamber is like, already pushing through, yeah. So, just so I should be already in like the smoke sort of view when the guy's orping, so I can instantly drop it. It's hard to say. Nice. Let's go back to that. So, um, I mean, because of omens, it's it's you have to like um, you have to like go into this uh, other view while your body is like standing still. So that kind of gives up your ability. Like you still want to like get to go get to into position as fast as possible, as fast as possible passing yeah. through the garage, doing your flank thing, right? It's just like, you just have to be able to like, get to the smoke as fast, like aim your smoke as fast as possible so that you have minimal downtime. Kill. No, just stay alive. No, don't peek that. No. Okay. That's not so probably doesn't matter. Save, 
one issue about this map is that uh, well about your mini map settings is that on this map particular you can't actually see the entire map so what that's I like to do is like setting. like you can't see what's happening at, at sea right because the map is centered on you who is on the opposite side of the map right now yeah that's right I can't see so, any question marks or anything right so I would actually recommend you go to your, your mini map settings and set the center to be off so that you see the full map at all times um, so, so just the center off. I think I understand. Yeah. But another thing is like the mini map sort of rotates with my perspective. Is yeah. that good or should I have it fixed? So it's like, what's what do you think is better? It's kind of personal preference. For me, it kind of it kind of throws me off a little bit. So I always just keep it keep it. Um, what's the word? Fixed. Yeah. Oh, also, so, you, so you, you don't do what I'm doing, where like, it sort of moves with. My yeah, I don't have aim. it rotated around. No, right there, right. But I think yeah, that's okay. just personal preference. I think at yeah. least you should be able to see the whole mini-map. That's like a must. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, the other thing is how large should the mini-map be? Should it be larger because it's so important? Or do you think that's already plenty large enough? Mm, I think that's also personal preference. I just have it default, which I think is just one. one yeah. 20% okay. size. Yeah. I always felt like... <laughs> Because of how much you need to use the minimap and how small it looks, maybe you should just make it as large as you can. But I don't know anyone who does yeah. that. So that's why I don't go with it. Because if no one does it, then it's probably for a reason. Well, I mean, you could play around with it. Try lower size, try larger size, and then see if it does or if it doesn't improve your awareness. So. But your awareness seems pretty plenty good with just like this minimap, so I, I bet I could just improve it without changing any of the minimap settings. Yeah. So yeah, All makes right. sense. Claw through them. <laughs> okay, so he's just gonna wall B. Yeah, he called A. Wait, how? Okay, yeah, people crossed. Yeah, I would smoke immediately. I'm not sure if I would smoke that though. Because uh, they, they can just kind of walk through smoke, you know, if anyone to punish that. Yeah. Probably the first smoke I would have done is smoke off sewers. Because you've seen three people cross already, and then your server needs help like ASAP. He's like, he's trapped himself in a corner. The first smoke I would have yeah. done is sewers. That would have saved him. He could have saved him, yep. Here I will also spend your second smoke. Nice. Spend your second smoke and just kind of hide in sight. Okay, reload, yep. Reload, switch to knife, yep. B? See, this is the issue of not being able to see the whole map. You have no idea what's going on until you get closer. Oh, Phoenix hit one on one skin. Yeah, I see. Good attempt. I will pick up Silver's gun. Flash cubby. Just flash, yep. Just TP behind you. Two left. I'm very lucky, right? Yeah, very lucky. Very lucky that Sage saved you. I actually had no idea there was a TP. I think I'm not used to chambers uh, noises yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save. Can I have, can I have that arm? Let's go. I'm pressing tab because I can't yeah. see it. <laughs> Let's see yeah. uh, what, what load does your team have. Okay, we have four rifles and a marshal. Okay. That's kind of a interesting dart. Let's go to 
Tam bude smok ty kováči mírlý. Jsou už je to 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 už I will prepare some smokes. There's no point in picking anything until the smokes are down. Oh, I don't think you need to TP here. You need to you need to smoke though. Smoke. Ah. Oh. Well, where should I smoke? There. Just like anywhere. So like let's say, around here. There's no point to like look at anything I, unless you really expect someone to like push through the smoke. But it seems like right now the only thing you you can do is just wait for your soldier to get in position, wait for your sage to get in position, and third, wait for the smoke to dissipate. So knowing all this, I would just like hug this wall like directly to your left, and then so, like, so that you're safe, right? And then yep. prepare to put down the smoke. So as soon as this smoke um, dissipates. Or even like say this smoke this way after you now you have to wait for this ice okay we wait for the ice because you can't there's no way you you're gonna be able to you and your sage you're gonna safely be able to push through this just hug the wall and prepare the smoke and which angle should I smoke that's where I really okay. don't understand here so we don't know exactly where they are so far we just know the sage I would probably smoke off uh, either garage Ouch. or smoke off the between logs and the like boxes on site. I think I understand. Um, so usually in this scenario, I believe I smoke off long, but because the solo wasn't watching long, I was like, yeah, I want to. I want to smoke. Where the hell do I smoke? Yeah. So I, I that that sort of give, stumbled me a bit because I was like, all right, where do I smoke now? Um, yeah. Let's see. Let me I see was worried. Drawing. I can't see any drawing if you're drawing anything. I have, to, I have to switch, hold on. Okay, can you see this? <laughs> yeah, I see the tick. Great. Okay. Uh, it's a bit too big though. Okay, so when you're pushing onto site, think about all the angles you have to worry about. You have to worry about this side of the box. You have to worry about back site. You have to worry about someone from this corner eventually, once you like move further and further. You have to worry about someone from logs. You have to worry about someone from garage or someone of like outside of the garage and then you have to worry about the garage itself right now think about yeah. like what smoke and you also have to think about um, um, chamber specific jet specific people with mobility specific positions so like chamber could be on top of this box chamber could be on top of this box chamber could be well I guess anybody could, could be could, could be on top of logs right now think about how can you block off as many angles as possible with your one smoke? Well, actually, eventually you're gonna have two smokes because you have um, seven seconds left. So now you can actually start thinking about, okay, I can place the first smoke, then I can place the second smoke. Um, so I would smoke off garage. Um, smoke off garage. And I would, yeah, garage. Uh, and second smoke, yeah, I guess I would smoke like you said, because you already said it, so it's a bit of a spoiler, but yeah, between truck and logs. But you think someone could be on top of a truck? Like, does Chamber have the ability to teleport high? Yes. Oh, I didn't even know that. I thought he could only drop it down the ground. He can, he can drop it anyway. Just think of it as like a, like a kill, kill, um, Killjoy's turret or something like that. Like, you can just throw it anywhere. Uh, as long as you're wow. next to it. Yeah, so normally I wouldn't smoke off logs. If it was like... If I didn't know that Chamber could do that, I probably wouldn't smoke off logs as my instinct because I guess I'm worried they'll just hide in it and it's just one angle. So that's just, this is where I'm a bit stumped. I, I'm usually smoking off like pathways. That's what I'm comfortable with. Smoking off like anything that's not a pathway, you really won't see me do often. Yeah, well, you do have to be worried about like people hiding in the smoke, but it's... It's less threatening than if it wasn't smoked at all, if that makes sense. Because yep. pushing through a smoke is always harder than if there wasn't a smoke to block 
block them off in the first place. So yep. let's say, for example, um, you smoke off garage. Technically, someone could still be inside the garage and like wait for you guys to push it onto site and then peek out of garage, right? Yep. But if you if one of your teammates like happens to be looking at garage while they're pushing out of the smoke, then you're gonna automatic you automatically gonna win that one. Yep. Uh, yeah, I guess this is how I can rephrase um, this question. So let's say like I smoke off. Let's say I don't <laughs> smoke off logs between logs and truck, and I smoke off the other angle, um, behind box where you uh, had a little cross on. Just the angle behind the box on the right. Let's say I smoke like where the stage is uh, standing. A bit to the right. Uh, to the right. Behind the box. This box here. Let's say I think. Let's say I think someone's behind there, and I smoke that off so that I don't have to worry about it. Or if I they do push me, they'll be at a disadvantage, right? Um, yeah. The reason why I wouldn't smoke that off is because I'm worried that if because I smoke it off, I can't technically clear it. Someone could just stay there the whole duration, and as I go to the bomb and do stuff, then they can sort of pick out, and that's really dangerous because I might get flanked or something. That's true. That, 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 is, that is, I think that sort of is how I can explain my fear of smoking um, angles because they can sort of come back to bite you back later on. Yeah, I think it's, it's hard to say. One thing is that if you think that's going to happen, then you can like stagger your push a little bit and try to be a little bit more erratic so that the person who pushes out of the smoke, they think they have the right timing, but actually they're, you're just like sitting there waiting for them to push out of the smoke, for example. That's an interesting idea. Um, yeah, it's it's just like this is this is why I get so confused over it because I I understand I agree with what you just said I agree with how I should smoke off angles it makes it easier it puts them in a bad position rather than if I just don't smoke at all then like what's the point but then they have that fear so that's that's why it's like I have to weigh those like decisions and um, yeah. In either so, case, but, like when they peek out yeah. of the smoke, their peak is generally slower than if there wasn't a, a smoke to block their view. Right? Does that make yeah. make sense? Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Like, I, it, I understand. Yeah. Like yeah. if they're if they're standing on the edge of the smoke, then their vision is is still blocked, but you can actually see like their hands stick out, their gun stick out, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I guess I'll try to smoke uh, on angles then. So you think that's, that that can still work? I guess like if I think if it's like two or three angles, and I have a smoke and it's like, and I've already smoked off like garage or like some other path that I think they could be, I'll use the other smoke just to clear one of the angles that I think they could be. To just well, smoke off angles. Yeah, not necessarily clear them, but just like so that you can isolate angles more easily. Because yep. that's that's the goal. You, the goal is to isolate maybe one so that. When you push on the site, you're not exposed to like ten angles at once. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just like I understand what you're saying, but I'm also like weighing my own fear of them sort of pushing out the smoke later on when I'm diffusing. That's the, that's the things that I'm weighing. Because yeah. the reason why is because when I first played Open, <coughs> the very beginning, I actually did smoke like that. Not on defense though, on retakes, but on attack. It was weird. I was pushing the same angle C long on attack. And what I would do is I would smoke off like some of those crosses, like logs, or like behind the box. I smoked them off because I thought that was helping my team isolate angles. And my team like yelled at me afterwards because when they were planting, people came out of those smokes and killed them. And they were saying those smokes made it harder for them to clear the site. And after that, I learned to not clear angles anymore, and only paths, if that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, it goes, it can go kind of either way. Um... Because I don't want to say that's like a hard and fast like you should always smoke like, like this way. Because mm. there's always a chance that the smoke could be used against you, right? So yeah, like, that's my struggle, I guess. Um, I guess when, yeah. In your example, when you're saying like when you were smoking off logs, was that on attack or was that on defense or? Oh, was on attack. So my attack. team was on attack. Yeah. Okay. Um, that. It's slightly different because, like, say if your team is like pushing onto C, like your team's like pushing onto C long, pushing out of garage, going onto C site, smoking off logs gives the enemy team like a way to 
um, play around the smoke as opposed to like if you smoked off CT spawn then you smoke off their their escape yeah compared to in this situation this current situation well they're not really worried about escaping right right so in the attack scenario you smoke off CT spawn so that if they decide to stay on site they don't have a smoke to like play off of so where they can like they can like use it to isolate one one followed by another on one one if you smoke off uh, CT spawn then if they want to stay on site then they are hard committed to like to their death basically unless they have some mobility to get out okay so that okay. if they're on logs if they're on back site if like say if um and say for example you guys are pushing too long you push them through garage and then if they stay on logs or if they stay back site or if they stay platform right each of the positions or if they even worse if they stay close to garage or if they stay close to c long each of these positions is a one and done position there's no way for them to escape if your whole team just like w keys into the site yeah <laughs> i say yeah compared to yeah. if you smoke off um like logs then someone can like stand inside here your team pushes in and then or maybe someone pushes out of the garage and then into the smoke then they inadvertently put themselves into a one, one lose the one one then that that uh, defender falls back to the other side of the smoke and then takes another one one on the other side of, of of boxes or other side of the smoke yep okay i guess that means that smoking on retake is a bit because they, they don't have the uh, advantage of escaping the smokes are a bit same scenario is a little bit different if you're uh, retaking rather than attacking and therefore the value of smoking those angles is, is better on retakes the value of smoking these angles different on retakes what do you it's, mean it's higher right? because you said that if i do the same angle on attack they could escape right like i think yeah. um how to phrase it like um i guess in in both instances you're still trying to cut off as many angles as possible but in one instance you want to i mean it's it's hard for me to, to to like really explain maybe it's just because i'm like i'm not really like controlling main or i'm not like a radiant player radiant controller player or something but in my opinion still like the play for this scenario is to just spend your smoke, spend your utility to, to block off angles and help you enter. Even if it means that, yeah, someone could potentially hide in the smoke, but like helping to clear out the angles is, or helping to, to block off the angles is more important. Absolutely. Okay. That's really good that you said that because that's, that, that, that's why I wanted to, to sort of bear up. Yeah. What was more important? And yeah, there we go. Thank you. Okay. Right, let me switch back. It's also like more urgent too. Does that matter? Because it's like right now our focus is to clear angles. Like right now. Yeah, like your, the, the your focus is to clear angles and clear sight as fast as possible because the bomb is playing and time is ticking down. So whatever you can yeah. do to speed that up and whatever you can do to prevent you from having to clear 10 angles at once instead of one angle at a time. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, thank you for explaining okay. that. And then... One enemy remaining. Here too, like, um, one enemy remaining. So it's actually a 3v2. We see the Reyna. We don't know where Phoenix is. Phoenix is dead. In here, now you know Reyna's in back sight. Wall banging this is fine. I wouldn't swing into your right though. Because now you put yourself in the 1v1. You have two smokes. You can just smoke them off. Ah, uh, yeah. Then he has to burn a Leah, right? And he has to burn if he, has one. if he has any. But now you gave him what we want, you gave and then he took another one with the sage. Nice bro. Luckily your nice. soul level cluster is out. If he has time. So I could have just waited for the server. You you know to push him, right? And then peek him. Not even peek him. I'm talking this specific moment, it's 3v2, right? You see the Reyna, okay fine. You shoot him a bit. Now it's a 3v1 because your sage just killed the phoenix. 
This yep. wall bang is fine, but this right here, you swing to the right and expose yourself to, as a 1v1. This is bad. This part is bad. Yes. I agree. Yeah, there's no point in taking this 1v1 like at all. You have two smokes, you can just like plop two smokes even on top of them, whatever. And then your team is just like all pushed together while he's stuck inside the smoke. Yeah, I see. So you solo like managed to clutch it out, I think. Yeah. Vanda on your left, I think. But you could have like made it a lot easier. I feel like you're you're really scared to actually look into a lobby. Yeah, I don't want to die. I can see if I can actually slow this down. I guess I'll keep pausing. Here, like we we try to jiggle, we're not actually peeking anything yet. Try to jiggle, we're not pe actually peeking anything yet. <laughs> we try to jiggle, we're still not peeking anything yet. Like someone actually could have just crossed at this point, and then we have no idea. Someone actually could have crossed. Someone could have crossed. Okay, now we can see like a pixel into the lobby. <laughs> and then we close it. Okay. Okay, we see someone cross. At least one. Now we decide do we push or not? Okay, we smoke. This smoke kind of okay. Yeah, unfortunate. Generally, I, I wouldn't like smoke like this unless you have some specific play to like hard commit to playing around the smoke with like a shoddy or hard commit to holding a long like this. But this is like uh, is like think we putting yourself in the shoes of the, an attacker. If an attacker is like pushing through the smoke, there's really only two angles they have to worry about. One is the angle that you're standing in, and the other angle is to to the left of that box. Right? Yep. Compared to, imagine if you smoked off... Uh, okay, let's go back to your drawing board. So just like trying to like t compare versus like standing smokes. Imagine if you smoked off the, the top of, or well, the entrance into A from A long. It's like this is the standard smoke, right? Now anyone yeah. who's pushing through the smoke is exposed to one, two, three, four, uh, five, like at least five different angles, right? Could be close right, someone could be heaven, someone could be hell, someone could be um, to the left of, the bo of, of boxes in sight, or even someone could be the right on the right side, You've boxes in sight, someone could be graffiti. Like this ten thousand in, in your omen, you, someone you could you could TP on top of this box, you could TP on top of site box, whatever, something random. Like there's like ten thousand yep. angles they have to worry about compared yeah, to this smoke where one angle, two angles. And it's much much easier for them to push through the smoke than it is to push through site smoke. Yep. Um, I agree. I think I was considering smoking this off just to buy a bit more time because it was a bit deeper and. And maybe like actually smoking your smoke right after if they push past this one. If that makes sense. Mm, I guess so. I guess my concept when I play defense, like you can see how I jiggle is like not really peaking because it's like just very safe, like way too safe perhaps. Uh, I guess the tr train of thought that I have when I make these sort of plays of the deep smoke and like the jiggle peaking is just to try and like not die while buying time and i sort of is like that, I, that is like my mantra basically on defense not die buy time the only thing is like how would you buy time with this smoke here unless, um, unless you like in order for you to play around the smoke or get value from the smoke besides like like unless you think you can get value from the smoke just by mind gaming the enemy team but like you throw this yeah. down, you think like, oh, they're automatically gonna turn around. But what if they don't turn around, right? Yeah, I was hoping that because of this smoke, it'd make it harder for them to push through. Like they'd have to spend like a flash or something to push through, and it, it would just slow down their push because it's like, okay, we we can't just walk through the smoke. We have to like burn a Leah or a Phoenix flash or a blind to sort of push through. Hmm. And if they didn't burn any flashes, I could just get a free kill. So I guess that's the plan. I don't expect them to just rotate off because of the smoke. I don't think that smoke is, is powerful enough to force a rotate, but it was 
I guess just slowing them down just, just a bit. No, I think that's the crux, crux of the issue. In order for you to, to get that free kill, you have to be standing in one of these positions, which means you, you have to be way more committed than you would want to be, right? Ideally, you don't want to be committed to like standing to this side of the box or standing where you are here when this is smoked and people are pushing through the smoke. I mean, sure, you could get a kill, or maybe two, but then you're very likely to get traded immediately afterward. Yeah. Compared to if you were playing somewhere in sight, almost anywhere in sight, you can get a kill and immediately back off. So you can like kind of do the same thing, but a lot more safely. Yeah, I get that. Okay, it's just risky to hold that smoke, obviously, because there's no way to run. Right? Yes. That's why I think like the only way for you to... Um, get value from the smoke or commit to the smoke is if you had a shotgun, and then yeah, you, you play like all of, like all around this edge here. You have all this close range space to work with, as well as going into the smoke, as well as going out of the smoke. I see. Um, what if I had just uh, held that smoke like on this sort of angle right now, and just sort of played around that angle? Like if I um, hear a flash or a leer, like then push through it. Do you think that I could just back off fast enough to I don't not think die? So. I don't think so. No, you think I'd still probably get killed by the you're, you're, flash? You're, you're too far from cover. Your closest cover is here, from like this corner here, and this would be at least like two to three seconds. I see. So there's, there's no way for me to react, basically, in this position. Right. I have to commit. And if I commit, it's riskier than any other position I could have taken. Okay, I think I, I get it. I'm, I'll try not to smoke there unless I have like a shoddy or whatever. Yeah. Alright. Alright, switching again. Okay. I think here actually you peaked a little bit too early, so the smoke actually isn't down yet. And you you peek and you expose yourself. Like you probably saw like your shoulder. That's, why, that's probably why he pre-fired it. <clears throat> you want to play? Let's play. I like this, be very careful about peeking because she has an up. Well, the enemy team has an up for sure. See. It took a little bit too long to get that smoke off. Yeah, that looked like a very insight. <laughs> Good idea. Cancel. Yep. I like how you timed it with the solver a little bit. So that you, you help clear a bit of sea long. Or at least uh, tell the solver where the enemies are. I think you guys are way too slow though. There's no point in walking. Unless, like, I don't know, are you guys saving? Is that why? I don't know why, why Reyna is just like holding this. <laughs> <laughs> or <Those> statues. <laughs> At this point, there's no way your team is gonna be able to defuse the bomb. I would tell your team to just say, save, play for exit kills. And then you'll, you'll spend the smoke. It's 5v5? Even though it's 5v5, even if you, your team like kills all 5 people in the next 5 seconds, your, your team would still have time to defuse. It's true, the slow. Yeah, based on like how fast the thing is ticking, right? So, actually, right now, I would uh, not go, not going to garage. Um, well, I mean, you can peek garage to see if uh, there's a wall here. But there is a wall here. I would actually put a smoke on CT spawn, and then tell your Reyna, tell your Sage, like, hey, help me hold CT spawn, get exit kills, because your jet and your silver are in perfect position to like hold and crossfire C long. But now the only other exit you guys haven't covered is CT spawn. Yep. And I will keep this wall up. Because oh. the, the goal is to cut off the enemy's exit, not give them another exit. There's no point in fighting this either. The omen's already dead. Yeah.
Your time is so good. You only need seven for it. I don't know why so is like we're turning off a C. I hear the mail on. One. Wait, they're gonna be, I think. Yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah, Shadows traveling. There's a couple A's, bro. It's unfortunate we shouldn't pick so early. Maybe if you come to the Venus, like or come to your team, like, hey, I'm smoking you long. Maybe he won't have peaked so early. Yeah, okay. I like this idea, helping your your jet because she was in one and done situation or well, position anyways. But now we know the enemy team is not pushing A. Kind of iffy smoke because you don't really know if they're pushing C long or if they're already on site. I think they were already on site, in which case your smoke is not very useful. Be quiet, kill this. Oh. I think you peeked a little too far. You had the right idea though. Careful, yeah, careful about peeking this. Whenever you, people play so long, it's very common for people to actually like jump peek because you want to be like as non committal as possible. With you, like peeking this is okay, although your crosshair is not really positioned correctly, unless you're trying to like wide swing. Like here, if I go frame by frame, here, this is a really wide swing where you're looking at three people right now, and most of the time, you should be dead. Yeah, true. I like the idea of the flash though, so you can slow down a bit maybe get a free kill. I would sp spend a smoke here though. I don't know why you're so frugal with your smokes. Like you could have been pushed right here and then uh, you'd be trapped on logs. I would smoke this and go rotate. Spike down mid. Yeah, I would run to help you jet ASAP, reload as well. I wouldn't worry about window, just worry about crossfading with jet. It's unfortunate, so we shouldn't have white swung. I'll get out. That's sad how we lost that A. We shouldn't have lost that one, eh? What do you mean? Lost an, lost an A? Uh, just, I felt like we had such an advantage in that position. We had the spike down, yeah. everyone was there, and we still managed to lose. Like in this position, it's weird to lose. When you have the spike down, 4v3. And it's 4v2, by the way. Yeah, Just weird. so it's 4v2, and the, your jet needs help ASAP. Your Sage is pushing really aggressively. Like, she probably shouldn't be full splitting right now because um, she's alone, and we don't know exactly where the last two enemies are. They're most likely somewhere too long, and if they are, they're gonna like 2v1 the Sage right now. So she should hopefully like start walking or be a little less committed. And she's running, right? She's running where she was. Like here she's taking a duo of the Reyna, which she should not, yeah. She feeds the Reyna. And your smoke is not necessarily bad, but one issue here is that you're you're too focused on, on window. Even if someone's window, there's no point to peek this because your what's more likely to happen is that your jet is gonna find herself in a 1v1 with nobody to tr to trade her out. And then here, like Sova is just thinking, oh, I'm gonna just like full sprint with my knife out <laughs> for some reason. And then, <laughs> and then uh, now you spend your second smoke. I think I would have smoked through your second smoke a bit earlier. And then now, like you get you get walled off, you get cut off. And then Rihanna just like pops off, kills two people. So this is a weird thing. They were from um, in their spawn when they picked Jet, both of them, right? But how's that possible? Because they mm. killed Jet. They killed Jet on C. They killed um, Sage on C. How did they get to the yep. spawn without Jet's noticing? No, he kills Silver. Then he he uh, ah, uses he, dismiss. He does uses dismiss. dismiss. And then he knows he's spots the Jet of the Smiths. The Jet yeah. exposed. So I think like yep. if you were a bit closer, then maybe this could have been prevented. Maybe. 
Yeah, I think I, I believe the smoke was really dumb because I had a smoke. I don't know why I didn't smoke both. I only smoked one way instead of both ways. It's really random. Like right here, I don't know why I didn't smoke off. Like when I smoked the first angle, why didn't I smoke off the second? That's yeah, what I, don't know. I always blow, blow smokes like immediately. Yeah, I would have just. So yeah, that, I don't know why. Like here, now you're thinking of spot smoking, but maybe if the smoke was already down, you could trade out the, the silver. Yeah. But now silver is already dead. Vienna gets to dismiss for free. Then you get yeah, I think off. we would have won. Yeah. Yeah. So I think we would have won the round yeah. if I smoked earlier, actually. So it's Leah, it's a little bit of a timing issue. Um I wonder if it's because I saw the sage running down C long, I was like, oh I won't smoke to block her off. But <clears throat> that was weird. I wonder why I did that. It was intentional, so I'm just wondering why at the time I did that. Yeah. Whatever. You've got mail. Not sure if this PFR is necessary, but it's probably fine. See long again. I would just save save the smokes actually. Yeah, I would save them because the enemy team is like already on site. Use the smokes we take instead. Pause for a second, sorry. Yep. It's fine, it's just my family. Uh, it's all good, just uh, play. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so you heard the wall garage. Hopefully, so realizes this as well. Okay, looks like your team did. Okay, we're gonna break the wall, let's go with the jet. Yep. Unfortunately, a jet pushed without us. You still have a second smoke, you could have used it for either logs or back sight, so that you have to fight this unnecessary one. Mm. Or one more specific thing, like you could uh, put a smoke between you and the chamber so that you can try to peek logs and if logs is clear then you grab jet's gun. Yeah, use the smoke to take the gun. Cause here you're seeing a deagle, which is like not very worth it. Yeah, I think I lost money here. I should just walk to the thing. I think I realized it like here. I'm like, wait, why did I? <laughs> what did I save? <clears throat> yeah, just smoke it early, cause nobody's there. I would actually want to it A right now. Yeah, I would um, definitely went toward A because uh, you want to get a gun upgrade ASAP to become useful. You might actually call for your solo to like drone or dart. So like here, like solo gets two picks, falls back appropriately. Your team is like heavily fortified A. B is walled off. The only thing that's open right now is probably garage. Then your team is like kind of in this like low period where we don't have any information about where the enemy team is or we're going. And then your team is like thinking, well, nothing's happening. Let me just like let me just push up, right? <laughs> it's like Jet is like walking sewers. This van is like, well, I have a flash out. Let me flash something. I just want to flash something. <laughs> like here, I, I would say like, hey, 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 Silver, can you can you dart like a lobby? Hey, can you drone something? And then like then just having a conversation with each other, aren't they? Yeah. Just looking at each other. Well, this is like kind of innate, I guess. Like it, look, look. <laughs> the silver is like he's about to drone. He's like, no, I'm not gonna drone. He's gonna flash. I'm gonna peek with my op. <laughs> you can get the orb. Or not? Guess it's fine. Yep, get a gun. I guess that flank was a good idea because we got a gun out of it. Which flank? What do you mean? I'm oh, sorry, this sort of rotation, I guess I caught a flank. It was worth because I managed to pick up a Vandal. Yeah, so I would definitely, like, the rotation toward A definitely makes sense. Even if they weren't going A, you should just still go A just to get those guns. Yeah. And, uh, 
and then after this like lulling period you still wanna your, your goal is still to get into Ilari so that you and your can get the gun upgrades or you and your team can get the gun upgrades so knowing that you should either think oh they're pushing us let's just wait for the push to be over or they're backing up so let's spend dart and spend drone to make sure that, that the area is clear and we can go get those guns and rotate to wherever they end up going okay. right? so just like Knowing what the goal is, and then trying to be more quicker, more decisive. And then here, uh, even like around here, I would even consider like, like she says here, which means like, oh, they're probably C, even though she's not really coming that specifically that they're C, but most likely they're coming C. Here I was actually burning smoke. Knowing that you're gonna have another smoke in like five seconds. I'm actually surprised that your sage like kills the bomb planner and doesn't really die. Kills the phoenix and then she's still alive somehow. Oh my god, there's a hundred. Good train, I think. Uh, let's see what happened. Why were we a little bit too slow? Here I'd run up and I found. Yep. Okay, so your team just oh like god, kind of push it for you. There's a big ice by the sage. We don't know where the last guy is, he's probably coming. Okay, do we know he's coming? Flash him, smoke him. Don't peek. Don't peek. Don't peek this. Ooh. Um, why shouldn't I peek that? Because that's a 1v1. Look at this here. The flash is fine because you you want to buy time for your, for your sage to finish the fuse and guarantee winning the round. Okay, but here, this is a 1v1. I mean, yeah, he's blind. Okay, blinded. he's blinded. You, you, you could still technically die, but okay, he's blinded. At this point, he's not dead yet. And then, now this is still a continual one run where like you're still spraying at him, right? But that whole that whole engagement was just you and the arena. I see. So like you want to avoid these like direct running ones. You want the fights to be as unfair as possible. Where, imagine this, right? Let's say like here. You blind him, and then here, Sora like spends his, his shock dart, burns some whatever, or he spends his, his recon arrow. Like, so you know exactly where he is, you know exactly where he's going to be for the next 3 seconds. Maybe you smoke him off again, so that um, all 3 of you guys can just like like push together inside the smoke, or just like all 3 of you guys can just like uh, stand outside the smoke and just like spray into it, whatever. <laughs> yeah, whatever, whatever. I like that. Yeah. Like whatever like guarantees a 3v1 instead of a 1v1 followed by another 1v1 followed by another 1v1. But this is, yeah, that was basically a 1v1 that you managed to win, but it could have went the other way very easily. Of a knife out, unless you're applying something. See, this is the issue of like the minimap being too small. We have no idea that actually your Reyna or somebody is like pushing so long right now and looking. Right. Oh, she, she's in cubby. Good <laughs> smoke. Bomb mid. Spike down mid. <laughs> Not sure if this is necessary, but okay. I would put a smoke garage right now. Just your team's garage is like really exposed. Yep. And Phoenix pushes out of garage. Spike planted. We just have you have bomb C and you guys are all still B. I'm in 80 garage. Nice kill. Last player standing. One enemy remaining. Okay, now you know he's using these funnel logs. I would burn two smokes here. Unlucky. I guess from the fire queue, I can hear that his logs from that. Like around here, you kill Omen. Then around here, 
Okay, right where, where the sage dies, you know for sure that he's like logs or is he the spawn? Also, you can see from the question mark. See the question mark. But then there's another sound cue for me healing. Also, by the way, this, this sound cue where like you're jumping is, is also very obvious. I don't know if, we, oh. if it's because you weren't holding shift, but like he can hear you jumping, which means that he knows that you're pushing to garage window. Oh no. The other firewall, not a poly. Okay. Yeah, so that's probably why he spun, because he knew that you you coming this way. So, so I, should, I should shift jump there. Yeah, you should be, be quiet. Rotation, you rotate to B, which is faster. You also rotate to your knife out, which is faster. Tag lady. I wonder if there was, a, is there was like a tiny gap in the, in the smoke. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. Enemy spotted. See. You seem like you're, you're you're too indecisive about what to do here. He's on side. Enemy spotted. Here, someone could potentially be in garage, but that was very unlikely. So we're watching garage, we're watching garage, and then okay, let's go garage, just get into sight as fast as possible. If your goal is to get in sight as fast as possible, you should be like, get your knife out based on like where your, your team is positioned. Enemy spotted. And then, okay, well, now we're in sight, kind of, but like, gunfights are happening, but we're still not a part of them yet. Good flash, just double peek with it. Uh, okay, we got one. I would smoke it off. No point in peeing this again. This I would not hold. This I would not hold. That's one we won. I say. Right, like, you you end up getting the kill, but it very easily, like, you could also c could have died, and then your team can't trade you out at all. Yeah, I think the right play would be just smoke them off, and server picks them from behind or something. Not even, right? just, just smoke them off, and then go garage. So that you, you set up a crosshair between you and your sage, and if they decide to turn around and like push into your silver, then you have a much faster rotate to help out your silver. Okay, I see. Yeah, because we don't know about garage. <laughs> you, do know, you do know about garage. So let's go back to this here. Well, you're making this rotation, you're, wor you're looking at garage, you're, you're looking at garage window because you're worried about garage, but now, at this point, we forget about garage because it's unlikely that anyone is still in garage this entire time as well as during this time like it's very unlikely that someone is still waiting in garage while like this all this is happening and they haven't pushed out yet I see and then based on like the pathing that Yosoba took um, that he cleared the other side of garage not necessarily inside of garage but like outside of it then unless someone was hiding in garage the whole time then garage is implicitly clear wow i see so even though we didn't clear it ourselves it's just like so unlikely that it has to be clear there's no way someone would just take the team like that right unless someone just happens to be in garage and just sat there for 30 seconds <laughs> <laughs> so we know the last two will be c long yeah so the last two are most likely c long or they weren't c in, in the first place maybe they were in t-spawn or maybe they were sitting in e-lobby maybe but uh, mm. It's a possibility, yeah. although it's more more likely that they're they're too long. Uh, yep. And they were. So yeah. Yeah. Spike down C. If you can smoke the other side, like the exit of C long, that would be huge. So that it makes it harder for him to escape. Don't smoke the view of the spike. What do you think that that call from server don't smoke the view of spike? Um, generally, yeah, you don't want to smoke the view of the spike, but in, in this case, it makes sense because your team just wants to push up. So, like, even if he grabs the spike, the like the spike. he's gonna be stuck in a three run right when this this thing dissipates. So it's not a huge deal. Okay. It's a bigger deal if like um, if it's like your smoke and then that smoke stays up for like 15 seconds, but jet smoke only lasts like four seconds. Yeah. So it's, it's not enough time to get the bomb and get out. That's it. That's it. Oh my 
God. But here you should burn, you should burn your smokes. Yep, yeah, smoke that. You should even smoke the other side. So that your your sage like feels a bit safer. He's gonna he's gonna pick a bomb, he's gonna pick a bomb. Yeah, here we go. How fast does it take him to pick up bomb once he's in ult? Uh I can think you do it like, instantly? Probably like two seconds or something. But wow. he cannot pick up bomb if someone is looking at the bomb when he TPs on top of it and just just shoots them. That's it. Only if like someone if you guys don't have eyes on bomb, then yeah you, you can get get away with it. See what we got. I would actually like to see like you just like pushing up along because you haven't shown that in a long time and they have as long as they don't, don't show themselves A. So, okay, so they've shown themselves A so don't go for it this round. Yeah, I'm really not liking that smoke I do long. It's just useless here, right? <laughs> not as useless as that sage ice. This is a little bit of an over rotation by your team. That's an interesting angle. Never you could do that. The bomb begins. Spike planted. Reloading. Revealing area. Smoke, you gotta use it. See here, you're like your jet is is entering, and she's, she's forced to peek into like ten different angles. Where she kills the Vena, but then now she gets traded by a Chamber. Play, let's play. Now it's really important that you smoke something out, cause like you know what Chamber is, and you know that he has an op, or well, he has his ultimate, which is an op. So like it's really important that you deny that value. So like right now. Your team is like really scared to push, like your server is really scared to push because he knows that if he pushes it's going to get opt. You gotta go fast, don't have time. So again there, I could have just smoked um, long and logs. There, would have been good. Well, here I think you only have one smoke. Okay. The problem is that your team needs to get into sight like as fast as possible, and your team is like kind of four stacked, and it seems like they have no intention of going garage because your jet just smoked off garage uh, window. So you should burn a smoke to help get your team onto site ASAP. Because seeing at the stroke, your team is just getting sprayed by Reyna, and then gets uh, slowed by. Uh, by chambers, you, you tell him, now it's like really hard to like push through this. The jet's like stuck probably because she didn't have a dash. Maybe she could have been saved if you smoked off logs. So that you can she can like you can help isolate one v ones for her. Well that's unfortunate. You actually sprayed the box and that omen either didn't take any damage or he didn't didn't flinch. <laughs> Here it's just 50-50s. Like I think I did some damage, right? Through the thing, maybe. 280, 4 shots. Did I do 4 shots to kill him at the end? Um, oh, I know. I'm not sure. Let's see, 160 plus, what does the Vano do? Like 34 or something? So that's 100, 160. I, th I think you didn't hit him at all. Wow, he just, <laughs> he must have been so happy, he must be like, okay, now, now no one's going to expect me to be there, right? Phantom spam. One saw Blocking sight. Reloading. Your team needs your help. Leash your smokes ASAP. Spike down A. 
Probably a bit too late. When, when is the siege day? Like your siege is already peaking sight, and she's forced to peak like three to four angles. At this point, your team is like already basically told the enemy like, "Hey, we're we're stacked up at A." Now, your team's options are either cut noise and then we'll be hit in the next 20, 30 seconds, or we rotate out. So it seems like the, going to option two, we cut noise. Well, I'm sorry, option one, we cut noise and then we hit again. This seems a little too early though. Like right around the time where you guys made contact and then you burn a smoke, it's about 117. Your team is still stomping around, so they they know for sure you're still here. 112, okay. Now the noise has been cut. I think your team hasn't given enough time here. It's been about 10 seconds, 12 seconds before you... you now you make more noise to put down a smoke. I think I would have waited a little bit longer to like help sell the fake that your team is rotating out as opposed to like staying. Um, that so you think that smoke that I did was okay if I did it later? Yeah, do a little bit later so like because what your team is trying to do is cut noise and then fake going to the opposite bomb site, right? But you need to give the enemy team time to actually think that you're going to the other bomb site and then vote start rotating over, right? Yeah. But here like you you only waited like ten seconds and I feel like that's not enough time. But it's okay, your your silver pops off, Reina pops off, sight's clear. Watching heavens is I wouldn't do this. Because this is the bomb one actually. Yeah. And I see a theme here, like don't take 1v1s when you don't have to. Don't take 1v1s, we don't have to. Here you have to because, okay, you have a couple teammates, you have your jet who's trying to run across. But here, she's safe. And then Sova is like 100% safe the whole time, as long as he hugs the sight box. Rain is also safe because she's underneath hell. So now, with you taking 1v1 at heaven, it's just you. And now Jet is, is safe at, at the graffiti. So now nobody is exposed to heaven. Except Reyna. Okay, now Reyna is exposed. Yeah, so right when someone is exposed, be ready to trade them out. So look at look at everyone's positioning. Like, let's say like, um, around the time like you stop watching heaven. Or actually, let me, let me rephrase this. Imagine if you if you weren't watching heaven. Imagine if you were just just like holding this angle, not really holding this, but hugging this, looking at this box, and then this whole time just look at your mini map, look at where your team is positioned, where they're headed, where they where they're going, and what angles are they exposed to. So since you're you're trying to um, cover heaven or at least like trade someone out after they've shown this off at heaven or have been exposed to heaven, then your goal is to keep track of where your teammates are going, where they're headed, and keep track of who is exposed and not exposed to heaven. Yeah. Right? Okay. Does that make sense? So, so keep a mental picture of like, right now, Sova, well, Sova gets a double kill. Sova is not exposed. Rain is dismissed, not exposed. Um, Jet right, was, no one's exposed. Uh, Jet was exposed. Sort of exposed. Jet was exposed for like a few seconds as she was um, entering sight. Now she's hugging the sofa, now she's hugging the box. Again, I'm, I'm not even looking at your crosshair, I'm not looking at heaven right now, I'm looking at the mini map. So now Jet is like a tiny bit exposed as she's headed toward graffiti. Okay, now she's at graffiti and she's no longer exposed. Now nobody's exposed, there's no point in watching heaven. Okay, so now Sova is, is temporarily exposed, like a tiny bit. The only way that someone in heaven is going to is going to um, see the sova is if they they fully like peek out of heaven where like they they hug the the window I guess if that makes sense. In which case they would ex be exposed to like everything all at once. Okay, so like around here now nobody's exposed. Now we're just kind of hiding. There's also no point in peeking CD spawn. You want to wait for a contact with either your your jet, which is ideal, or your Reyna, 
and hopefully Reyna doesn't like peek directly into the heat to spawn by herself, even though she is. Yeah, can we pause it there? That's a really good point, because um, I do this mistake a lot, I guess, where like I hold this, this is actually the position that I usually find myself holding, either this or on short, and I usually peek, I think if, I, if heaven is smoked, I would try to peek from short to CT. If heaven isn't smoked, I would go here and I would peek CT. And what you're saying is I shouldn't be picking anything. I should just be waiting for contact. Yeah, I agree. Yep, I see. I so, mean, you could yeah. peek things if you have to. I would I would make sure that you try not to commit to those peaks. Well, like, like the peak that Reyna is making right now into CT spawn is not necessarily a bad peak because it's actually a, a good one because she's not committed to it. If you look at how tight, if you look at the minimap and see how, how uh, tiny of, of a line her, her cone is, right? That means she's holding the angle really tightly so that she's not really committed if someone were to run one her. Maybe she'll stick around for like a couple bullets, but she can very easily like break line of sight and then just disengage. Interesting. Yeah, so I guess it's just like, so, so yeah. the whole point of not taking 1v1s, <laughs> of just like not taking 1v1s when you don't have to, this is me picking this is again just constantly just taking 1v1s where I don't have to. I could take first contact right. off the jet. Right. Compare this like the the peak that uh, the Rain was making compared to um, the, the peak that you do you make while you're watching heaven, right? Like here, you see all of heaven. If someone were to wide swing you, you're stuck in that 1v1. Or at least you're you're way more committed compared to the the type of angle that Rain was holding, where like it's just a pixel. Yeah, that makes perfect sense, right? I, I noticed like uh, as well in like my post plant position, like just the one where I was after I went to box and how I shouldn't peek and how I should wait for contact. <clears throat> That's a situation that happens so often. I feel like in post plant situations where you want to hold the site, you have people playing angles like jet where they sort of make they're meant to be the ones who make first contact, and then you have like I don't know what you'd call like second contact, like players like me in positions to trade off the first contact players. This sort of situation, like I feel like it happens so often. I, I wonder if there's like a sort of like easy way to um, understand how to play first and second contact, if that makes sense. Um, hmm. I like, should I all, yeah. If you could help me explain the situation better, I guess any sort of explanation here would help. Just because I feel like this happens so often. Yeah. One, well, thing, like, one thing I'll say is yeah. that it's not necessarily that Jet is always making first contact or that controller, controllers like Owen or yourself are always trying to make second contact, right? It's just like, what were the situation that you and your teammates find themselves in that you just have to like adapt to the situation, adapt to the positions, adapt to the enemy, etc. Yep. Right? So imagine if, um, if you weren't here but you were actually like like um, right, you you were in Jet's shoes, but not actually playing Jet. You were like Omen, right? But then you you were thinking like, oh, I'm gonna like flash. Hold graffiti. Yeah, I'm gonna hold graffiti. I'm gonna like flash despawn, and then like maybe you find yourself like where Jet is standing, right? Instead of where you're standing here, where you're like closer to sewers. Yeah. So it could go either ways. Where like if you're standing where Jet is, then you want to be the one like you want to be acting as the bait for someone else who's on site or some other teammate that is on site or on sewers like for example yeah i get it uh yeah so not 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 role, not role agent specific just position and situation specific right depending on the situation yeah depending on the situation okay. okay and then going back to this peak so this is like more committed to what reno is holding but you could actually accomplish the same thing like eventually you get closer to the right side and actually let me Go as slow as possible. You start moving to the right side. Now look at heaven. Look at your view of heaven. See how it gets shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter. And now what if you're holding it like this, right? Now you're accomplishing the same thing that Rain is accomplishing, where you're still watching heaven, but you're very not uncommitted to anything that happens if someone were to peek out of heaven. I see. Yeah. But I got but this is also a bit more situation because now you're also exposed to CT. So it depends, right? So 
everything depends on 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 where your team is positioned. This position is actually really good because your team, Reyna, is already holding your CT spawn. But if Reyna dies or if she backs off for whatever reason, now this position is really bad because you're yeah, exposed to CT spawn, right? So there's a lot of things you have to like juggle in a matter of like a few seconds where someone decides to turn around in for a split second, then suddenly your, your position has to change. Yeah. I, 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 I like what you just said. I feel like the position that I ultimately end up playing for behind box, playing off Jet's contact, I think I play, maybe that position I played it too early and I should be playing, like you said here, playing this sort of tight pixel off of window because CT is already being held by my teammate. So the more appropriate play here would actually be like what you said, to hold the window, correct? Uh, With, uh, tightly, like hold it tight. Hold like the heaven, right here. yeah. If that was hold your, heaven, yeah. yeah. If your goal was to hold heaven, then yeah, this is how I would hold it. Um, do I have smokes here? I feel like I don't, right? So then, shouldn't I be holding heaven? Because think about it like this, the Rainer's position is sort of exposed from a rotate from uh, CT, right? If they have heaven, they can pick her? Uh, not unless they jump on top of the heaven, like, window cell. Okay, I guess I just don't know how angles work, but they, <laughs> but yeah, like, I, I, okay, I see. But I guess CT is already being held, so maybe me just holding CT, like here doesn't make sense because I'm not even making contact, it's Rain who's making contact. Right, but I'm not talking about you holding CT, I'm talking about you holding Heaven based on where you're standing right now. Imagine if you didn't move, you just looked at Heaven, right? If you look at the, the tiny sliver of view, your view on Heaven, right? That's what yeah, you want to accomplish. Yeah. yeah, I understand that's what I want to be holding now. Yeah, that's what I should be holding now. I'm saying that I shouldn't be holding CT. Because, like, I, what I end up doing is I hold CT, right? But I shouldn't be doing that. Because no point, the rain is already holding it. Okay. Then the other thing, too, is that, okay, so going back to what we mentioned before, where you want to keep a mental model, like, say your goal is to watch over heaven, you want to keep a mental model of everyone on your team who is and isn't exposed to heaven, so that if someone does get exposed, and then you can, like, be prepared to trade them out. I see. So basically what happens here is that, okay, I mean here I'm not even looking at anything except the minimap because there's nothing else to look at. If you're, you're just like looking at a box, you're, you're perfectly safe from every single angle. I mean, unless someone like suddenly decides to pick out of, out of sewers, but it's extremely unlikely. Like there's, there's nothing to really like put your attention on. So therefore you can put all your attention on the minimap. So here I was look at the minimap, look at the minimap. So far, nothing has changed. I see Sower is running toward hell, which is fine. That doesn't really change the, the situation at all. Now, Jet is like slightly peeking off of, like peeking a pixel out onto heaven, which is fine. But what is making a huge change is Arena, who is not only reloading, but putting her back toward heaven and exposed to heaven. So basically, I already like, already start preparing myself to be like, if this Reyna gets shot from heaven, I need to like swing and trade that immediately. Right? And what happens is that she dies to someone from heaven, and then we are way too slow to pick heaven. Like that person in heaven is already, already behind cover. I guess I wasn't, I wasn't thinking about my teammates when I was behind box. I was more focused. I actually don't know what I was focused on because there was only a box in front of me. So <laughs> I don't know what I was focused on, but I wasn't focused on uh, my teammates and their. Um, exposure to uh contact from heaven yeah hmm i wonder so in situations like this maybe there's like a concept here where if i'm standing <coughs> somewhere like like here this position like you said there's nothing for me to look at right i have only have the mini map is that why if i only have the mini map like this i should be focused on my teammates like, the, for example, maybe in another situation like this, in a different map or something, where I am in a position where I'm not actually doing anything on the screen, my focus should just be on my teammates and the minimap? Yeah, your focus should be elsewhere. Usually the minimap, but I don't, it could also just be on um, your utility, maybe you're waiting for a timer, you're just like waiting for your smoke timer to tick down so you can smoke something immediately. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, but 99% of the time, you should be just looking at your minimap. 
Yeah, and and you also you, you put so much focus on heaven here because it's the exposed angle that no one's watching, right? So right. could this be a concept where like when we do like a uh, when we're holding a site in post plant, like t take focus on like the exposed sites and think about what teammates are exposed to those ex like technical areas that could be picked from. Yeah. Like here, the exposed site is heaven, but in another instance, it could be something else. And therefore, that's the site that I should be paying attention to and how that angle interacts with my teammates because I can trade them out. Like you said, if I was actually aware of this before it happened, I could be in a better position to trade and get the free kill. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> you can keep playing. Okay. Uh, I actually want to talk about another topic here. So after... Rainer dies, and we don't trade, trade her out, which is unfortunate. But it's still 3v2, it's, the bomb's still planted, it's still extremely winnable if you guys just play this correctly. And then, okay, we peek heaven, we saw that we know Sage is heaven, we know Phoenix is CT. And, alright, let me f ask you this um, what are you thinking here, and what do you want to do? Okay, great. I like when you ask me these questions because I usually have the wrong idea, and interacting with it helps me learn it. So, there's a hell, say, so someone just flashed, right? Phoenix flash from Phoenix CT? flash from CT. Yeah, um, I guess what I should do is wait for the jet to take contact and then trade her. Okay. Um, that, that's what I would do, yeah. Okay. Then, then are you focused at heaven at all or no? Hmm. Uh, well, let me ask or, you this. If Sage suddenly decides to peek from heaven and then spray some boxes or something, maybe she thinks you're, maybe she's hard calling you at behind box, or maybe she's spraying the sight boxes, whatever. What would you do? Uh, so if Sage is spraying me, or she's like spraying something, which she's she's spraying the the sight boxes because she thinks someone is behind boxes that's on on site, like where the bomb is planted. Right. I, I guess in, in theory, like. Because she's spraying, I should pick her because she's not focused on me. Um, but yeah, I guess my focus in the game, I was probably focused more on the jet. But like, knowing what you said, yeah, I, I guess if, if at the moment I see Sage do something, <coughs> like spray somewhere, I should shoot her or pick her. Right? Okay. okay, that was a little bit of a trick question. The correct answer is that you should ignore it. <laughs> 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 I was going to, but you said that. I was like, all right, <laughs> got that. Because the only reason she would be spraying something like that is to basically like bait you out. But that's a little bit more high level. Um, so, you, so you have the right idea that you should should trade with with Jet. Um, the issue is that whenever you try to trade, I mean, I guess you could actually like you could walk back a little bit and stay as close to the right as possible, and then like and then um, still have an angle to trade out the Jet, but. What I'm, what I'm really looking for is that you have a smoke and you should do something with that smoke. Right. Okay, so now follow up question. What should you smoke off? Yeah, I think I should smoke off heaven here because I feel like uh, Jet will make contact and I want her to take a fight, don't I? Because I can trade her. It's a, it's a good fight for us if I smoke off heaven and they come through CT. But then I guess if I smoke off CT, then hold on, then they'd have to come through heaven, and then that's even worse because they have to drop. So I guess I smoke off CT. Yes. <laughs> I change my mind. I smoke off CT. I change my mind. CT. Like, yes. Lock so, it in. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Most people in this situation would actually smoke off heaven. Like whenever they see um, heaven not smoked, like oh shit, I need to smoke off heaven. The heaven can just, like see all this stuff, right? But yeah. the thing is, like before where your team was like positioned here where heaven is a huge threat because everyone where your team is positioned has to be worried about heaven if Solo wants to move anywhere he has to be worried about heaven if Jack wants to move away from graffiti she has to be worried about heaven right but all that just changed in about like five, five to ten seconds right see Solo he goes toward hell Jet is like peeking graffiti but then she goes to a CT spawn Reyna is unfortunately dead but look at their positions, right? They no longer have to worry about heaven at all. The only person that has to worry about heaven is you, but you don't necessarily have to peek heaven until someone drops from heaven. In which case, like, 
they drop from heaven, they're exposed to like 10,000 angles, like so we're just gonna knife in the back, whatever, whatever. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, knowing that's so like here, the only dangerous angle is CT spawn, where potentially Jet could take, accidentally take a 1v1 based on how, like, how close she is to CT spawn, and then you won't really be in range to trade her out. So, smoking CT spawn is actually the better option than smoking heaven. I have a question here. I know I'm just a yep. random who just joined. Hello. Um, hi. Um, if if you sm do smoke CD spawn in this situation, where do you smoke? Do you smoke deep? Do you smoke including the jet? Do you smoke close? Like, wh what do you smoke? You smoke, uh, okay, how do you describe this? Let's switch screens. I, I guess I wouldn't smoke the jet off because I wanted to be able to trade off her contact. If I smoke her off, I can't trade her. Yeah, you don't want to smoke so her I, off. That would be bad. I would smoke, I would just smoke just at the edge. So it's pretty like, just so that when the guy gets out of the smoke, he's like, bumps into okay. the jet. Like so right up there. Think yeah. about this hallway, right? Imagine if this if this was like a a square a hallway. Yeah? yeah. You want to place your smoke so that the imagine like it's like a circle, right? The the circle yeah. part is like flush with the exit or the entrance. Okay. Like make it like make a door almost. Yeah. Right. Imagine if this was the door the the hallway, right? Okay, so likewise, if you were worried about someone pushing from sewers, then this is how you would smoke elf, so that they have one option coming up from like outside the smoke, right? Mm -hmm. So if we extract relate like this, the the worst thing you could do is if you smoke like this, because now they have this option, this option, this one. They have like ten different angles to to work around the smoke. Yep. Likewise, if the smoke was like placed here, now they have like so many different angles, but they can come off the right side, they can come directly in front. They can come up from the left. Mm -hmm. And then you're actually giving them options to isolate when we want. Yeah, yeah. Understood. Okay. Any more questions so far? Ah, it's, it's really good. So, the, so the, the best option is to smoke off CT spawn, but as long as you use, if you smoke off heaven, you could still like get value from that because as long as you smoke off heaven, that alleviates pressure from your silver because right now silver he's, he's placed in hell so that if someone drops from heaven he automatically gets like gets a ship in the back that's mm. basically why he's in hell right now otherwise like uh what he, sh he should really be doing is that um he should get to as far away as possible like he should go sewers and come to like a lobby or he should go long and then get to a lobby so that he can pay play plus plant because he has ult Mm, true. That's basically what he should be doing, but because he's playing hell, it means that he's waiting for someone in heaven to drop down, and then he shoots him in the back, or he knifes him in the back, whatever. So that uh, if you smoke heaven, then that's not necessarily a bad thing, because you're still providing a lot of value. You're leaving pre leaving pressure from your solo. Now your solo doesn't necessarily have to stay in heaven. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, not stay in heaven. He doesn't necessarily have to stay in hell and wait for someone to drop from heaven. He can actually, like, Stand right here, actually, and, and then he'll uh, imagine if uh, actually now let me take that back. He'll he'll not stand like right there, but like hugging like this part of the wall. Like say he stands like here, so he's not exposed to someone with like this type of angle, right? He's not in this line of sight, but if he if he makes whoever's here, the phoenix makes contact with your jet, makes contact with you, then phoenix can swing out. And then like help trade, right? So that's one thing, leaving pressure from your sofa. Um, second thing is that it lets you get much closer to your jet to play off of her. So your jet is like in this corner here. Then mm. with the heaven smoked, you can like play this spot right here, so that you have a very tight crossfire, and then you, you don't have to worry about heaven because it's smoked up. So that this position is. Even though normally it would be a bit exposed to heaven, you have to worry about it because it's smoked off. Uh, so you mentioned, yeah, so you said I could be closer. Does it matter if I'm closer? Or f why does it matter if I'm closer compared to further? Okay, so imagine if nothing was smoked off. Well, like, imagine if, if CT wasn't smoked off, then um, if someone was like here, like hugging the right side of the... So imagine if this, like, this was the doorway. Uh, no, I think I understand. I, and then, I'm not in a position to swing. I think I understand what you're saying This now. is a box here, yeah. Yeah. Let me just like kind of draw this out, and then like Sova is here, Jet is here, here's Jet, here's Sova, and then uh, let's say like 
this is graffiti, you could you could stand right here so that if the if the phoenix like shoots the shoots the jet, you can immediately swing out, kill the phoenix. Yeah, yeah, makes yeah. more sense now. And if I was in the farthest position, I couldn't see the phoenix from there. I couldn't swing. Right, the you're like all the way over here. And then you yeah. don't have an angle at all. Phoenix can kill the kill can kill the 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 jet, and then you can't do anything about it. Hmm. And, and even technically, even if there was a smoke, technically he could sort of pre-fire from inside the smoke, and I still couldn't shoot him. Right? If he could just sort of guess there was an angle there or a player there. He could, but it's, no, it's kind of unlikely. So. Because if, if you if you okay. pre-fire his long and all, then jet's just gonna kill him. So here, actually, so it turns out that like, because the smoke technically can alleviate pressure from the server, the smoke heaven does have some value, and mm, I guess maybe here, just to be nitpicky, technically <clears throat> the phoenix has a flash, right? So the smoke isn't super effective on him because he can flash through it. So I guess maybe smoking heaven to alleviate pressure for server can have like an extra person picking might help more so you mean like you, CT? if you put a smoke on heaven yeah maybe it's better than ct just because i just thought like phoenix has flashes so smoking him off is not like as good as any other agent because they don't have flashes they have to push through manually phoenix can push through with a flash so maybe that <laughs> maybe that means i should smoke through heaven uh i mean you still might still have to worry about someone dropping down even though it's smoked out. Okay. But with the way that your team is currently set up, if you just put a smoke in CT, then everything is covered. You have the, the proper crossfire, and then Silver is like indirectly crossfiring kind of with him by himself. Alright. Okay, I guess we just look at this one situation for like so long, I'm just like overthinking it now. <laughs> like more and more things just come to my mind. But in either case, it's a little bit nitpicky. The main thing is that you just need to smoke something, and then, and then make the play off of that smoke, right? I'm I'm kind of going deep through this analysis because, whichever one you decide to smoke, your your play style changes, or your positioning changes, your goals change. So, should server just actually just like alt CT here just to buy time? Um, maybe. <laughs> It's kind of a low value play because you don't really know if they're gonna be in line here. Like if he just ults this way, we don't really know if anyone's there. Maybe they maybe they're both running up heaven right now. Like who knows? In which case, uh, then, then you're not really buying any time. True, but then it isolates a heaven for us, right? So let's say I smoke heaven and then he ults CT. Would that be a good play? And it's like a medium risk, low reward. I would say. Okay. The best reward that Sova can get is is guaranteeing the positioning of the enemy. Like if you know for sure they're on the bomb because they tapped it, then you can ult the bomb and like guarantee value, like huge value by delaying but at least five seconds or more. Okay. Yeah, we can move on from here if you want. Okay. All right. So this is what happens. Jet dies. We can't trade him out because based on this, actually. If, Jet kind of misplayed it because she she peeks a bit uh, too the, far. By the way, there's no sound because you're using the drawing. Oh, sorry tire. about that. Let me switch over. It's all good. <laughs> so just like look at just positioning right here. Don't worry about what you're looking at. What you're crossing. Just look at just just positioning. She gets spooked a bit because she like gets sprayed, but because nothing was smoked. There's like nothing to alleviate this pressure or nothing to alleviate the heaven pressure because like not look at your soul, your soul is like worried about heaven, that's why he's starting. And then like jet dies and nobody's able to train him out, which is unfortunate. Now we put a smoke, it might be too late though. Okay, so we're in this position. Let me think, what would we want to do? We want to trade off with Sova somehow. So I think Sova should actually peek out a little bit further from hell so that he is like looking at uh, graffiti. Let's go back to the drawing board so that hopefully it gives you something to trade off of. 
Yeah, so both of us should be thinking about how we can play off each other. Yeah, how you guys can play off each other. The know. server should be thinking, I can play first contact. And I should be thinking, I can play off server's first contact. Yeah. So... Because server can definitely not play off my contacts. No way, right? Right. Oh, nah, yeah. No well, way. Because... If... Okay, let me, let me do a little drawing here. Imagine if this was like this. And then there was like a box here, and then... Unless like I push up to Rabbit or this is, Graffiti, This is I mean. where Silver is, and then here's Graffiti, and here's like the boxes on, on site, right? Ideally, Silver plays like right here, so that he has this angle, but he's not exposed to a CT push. Whereas someone from Phoenix standing like here, right? Phoenix would hopefully have to cross this line, cross this line of sight, fight the Silver, then you from here can like move to the left and then peek double like peek with the silver and force a two v one here. Mm. That's ideally what you want to have happen. But with silver hiding in, in in hell, then with what Phoenix can do, Phoenix can just like path this way, force a one v one, kill the silver, path this way, tap the bomb, look at sewers, force another one v one. Makes sense? Yeah. That makes sense, yeah. Okay, but hopefully, I don't know, try to communicate with server, or you, you're kind of stuck in a, in a hard spot, because it's up to the server to make that happen. There's not much that you can do, I think, except maybe... Okay. Like, yeah, making like a, like a, I don't know, maybe if you, if you jump to the left while TPing to the site boxes, so that if you were on site, then you can more easily like play off the server. But it becomes a bit difficult because you have to be always be aware of, of heaven. Well, actually you smoke it, so okay. You don't really have to worry about heaven too much, but you have to like peek out a bit, which means you are exposed to if, if Phoenix decides to just hard W and then like like catch you while you're mid TP. Or if you yeah. really want to go into that, I could double TP, TP, short TP, truck. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Let's become a bit more, more agent specific. Yeah, yeah. I see. Yeah, but you see what I'm trying to accomplish, right? You're, what you're trying, what your goal is, you want to try to figure out how you can play off your server, or how your server can play off of you. Actually, right here, technically, I have an angle to TP into graffiti, right? Uh, you could. The problem is that you you still might accidentally take a one v one with the phoenix. I think uh, actually, what you could do is just burn your flash. Maybe you, you flash this way and to help guarantee that even if Phoenix was there, he gets flashed so you can like get to somewhere else. Like you can get to the bomb or something to reposition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's probably what we do. Yep. Just burn flash to get closer. But if flash to get closer, stay behind the, uh, whatever it's called, the boxes. Yeah, and then yeah. Um, hug this thing. Right. Yeah, hug, hug that thing behind it. Um, and in that situation, basically when Phoenix pushes up onto site, me and Sober can basically peek out at once on him, but next to each other, right? Is that uh, the idea? The idea is that uh, I think Phoenix would, st you, you still want the Phoenix to cross Sober's line of sight. Yes. Because like, let's say, um, let's say, let's do this drawing again. Let's say that I have like this doorway and then these boxes. There's a box here, so is here at hell, and there's like this little hole here, then here's like graffiti, here's the boxes, and okay, we're, we're on sites, we're playing around this box. The problem is that if Silver stays in hell, then this is his line of sight. He can only see like this angle, right? So what could potentially happen, Phoenix could just run out here, force a one of you, and so yeah, can do about about, right. Yeah, So it's still on Silver to to play like imagine if this was this was the extent of hell and there's some boxes over here then or there's like some some wall over here he, like, he moves to the right so that he can like see like this way oh uh, and then if he gets i can peek out to right. the left so phoenix if he gets crosses this line then you go to the left uh, and you pick the phoenix so it's on server to take first contact regardless right if the guy goes if the guy paths to my left on my right, server will take first contact regardless if he goes right. And if he goes left, it's on server to have the proactivity to do it himself to peek so that I can trade off his peek. Yeah. 
That would be the, if it does yeah. not peak, then I'm screwed. Yeah. The 1v1. That would be the ideal scenario. Uh, if that doesn't happen, then what you have to do is that you have to play around this box. So that if Phoenix pushes you, you rotate around this box and like play like ring around the rosy until eventually yeah. like eventually Phoenix follows you into Sova's line of sight or something like that. <laughs> Just a, 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 a. Yeah. Well, I, I've never actually thought of um, like, I, I, I like how much effort we're trying to think about trying to play a um, uh, 2v1 with like our abilities to sort of reposition to sort of uh, each player's thinking about the same thing yeah I, I, I guess I've just never th thought about putting so much effort into avoiding 1v1s but now that you mentioned yeah like it makes sense right like 1v1s are bad you want to avoid them if you can here you can so it's an option right yeah yeah it's like a very simple concept, but it's just, uh, I know, I know I'm not the only one who doesn't do this. I know it's like pretty common in gold to just 1v1, right? So it's, 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 uh, it's, it's definitely interesting. Definitely I'll, I'll think more about that when I'm, uh, just in general when I'm playing. Yeah. Yeah, we can move on, but thank you. Okay. Okay, so changing back to VLC. I think in the future I'll try to like, instead of drawing, I'll just like use some, there should be some site that has maps built in. You have Valorant maps where you can just sort of pull it up. Yeah. On your stream. Yeah. One heaven, one more. One enemy remaining. Oh, it's not all Yeah, at this point the round's one. I'm sure, you can just like throw a flash on the bomb. Okay, very nice. Okay, so let's actually recap the ending of this round. Well, let's re actually recap the whole round where unfortunately Sage entered, which she shouldn't have. She should be a little bit more patient, let the duelist go first. Unfortunately, you smoked really late. And then this, this part about where like your team is cutting noise, but you're not. Your team's not waiting long enough, and it's a little bit on you because it's they're waiting for for someone to make the first move. That means that okay, we hit the site like now, right? Otherwise, like everyone right now is just like walking. It's always just like, hey, when do we hit? I'm not sure. Let's see what other people are thinking. But you doing the smoke is like the go button, right? The go button is because you smoked. But I'm really confused because. Uh, that smoke was meant to be a diversion. I didn't want people to go off that smoke. What do you mean? Uh, that smoke was to... Oh, I see. Make, that's the thing we're going to see, remember? I think you slightly forgot the start of the round. We were trying to fake that we weren't A. I see, I see what you mean. Okay. We did it poorly. Okay. So, but, but the team did say that as a go button. Yeah. But I didn't, didn't mean to be, like, you know, yeah. Okay, then I think you just you just need to like communicate with your team. Let your team know, like, hey, just cut noise, wait 20, 30 seconds, and then we review hit. Yeah, I was trying to uh, help them with the whole like faking C yeah. by that smoke, but they read it wrong and like horrible, horrible communication. Okay, yeah, so just work at, try to work on communication and coordination with your team. Nice. Try to keep your team on the same page. And then, yeah. I thought it was like, I don't think I was doing anything that weird. Like, I, it was that, that smoke was clearly not going A, but somehow just the yeah. noise of me smoking just was just like, I don't know, just like, ignited everything. Okay. And then, then yeah. we had like this this uh, little concept about how to hold angles, whether it's holding a committed angle, like this is a commit more committed angle compared to here, where if you look at the Raina, for example, she's holding a, a very non-committed angle because she's only has like a one pixel view of, of CT spawn. So that's kind of like what you want to achieve in general when you want to be like non-committed, but still like kind of watching over something. And then, then we talked about concept about like if we don't have anything to watch, then the thing to watch is the mini map. Mm -hmm. So we look at the mini map and see, okay, we're gonna die because we weren't paying attention to heaven. We weren't really trade routes. Now we pick heaven, where it's too late because the guy's gone. Now we have a smoke, so we should smoke something. And then depending on what we smoke, CT spawn, or we smoke, or we smoke heaven, then that changes how we position um, on on the map. 
like we're on, on the bomb site rather like if we smoke one or the other then we may or may not necessarily stay where we are now we might shift our position around the bomb site and then we also want to try to trade for a team we see our jets and our gunfights which we shouldn't be taking 75 but maybe we could have traded routes if we did the other sets correctly but okay it's still not lost because we could still trade out our silver And then, okay, you get a good crossfire of Sova. And then now the, the round is won, so just whatever you do, it's really better. Okay, as soon as the dart, Wait. yeah, darts you long. You said you liked close games, so <laughs> this is the closest I can get it. Yeah, good. <laughs> One window mid. Smoke garage, immediately. Or smoke... Now we're not really sure, because it depends what Sage does. Oh, now it's late. I would probably fall off A here. So, let's think about what has happened so far. We haven't heard anything A. Sova darted around what time? I saw a, I saw a blink on the minimap. One window. I guess it was before. Okay, so Sova darted at the beginning of the round. That's that's the dart. Even though it doesn't show up in the yeah. minimap, you see the radius. Yeah. So that means there's nobody see long. You don't hear anything A, so unless they're walking A, which is unlikely because they haven't shown that at all in the past twenty five rounds. Or at least 12 rounds. So the enemy team is, is likely to either be mid or working garage with some combination. Okay, so. so you, you, don't, you don't think that it could be A? Because they, they haven't shown A? They could be A, but the thing is, if your goal is to hold A, let's see, like your goal is to hold A after the smoke goes off. Let's see, do we fall off A completely? Oh no. Okay, so here, if your goal is, goal is to hold A, I wouldn't hold site like this because you're alone on site. Your goal is to hold A, you should play something safer, like either you play from like here, like this angle that you're actually holding, like closer to see the spawn, so you can immediately just like and dip set. out. Right? Or ideally, I'm you trying to watch my smoke though, because I feel yeah. like my smoke's a bit useless if I don't watch it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's why I was playing behind the box to watch smoke. Okay. So I thought, well, I don't, I, I don't well, know what the point of my smoke is if I don't watch it, right? Well, you, you, what I was thinking was that you were just playing from heaven, so that you still have right. a bird's eye view of the site, and then you're extremely safe, so that if you want to disengage at any time, you can, you can pretty much do so. I say heaven. I think the only so time this, that yeah, yeah, go ahead. No, so, so basically, if I'm playing, if I'm solo holding a site. Obviously, I don't want to die. <clears throat> Obviously, I want to play safer than if I was like duo holding, trio holding. Um, and so, in this <clears throat> position, obviously, I pick the safest angle to hold, and that's heaven. Yeah. Right? I would say generally you want to make the safe play, but there is some value in the the riskier play. If we, like, so for example, the riskier play is to hold close. Like, uh, let's say, like, say you continue. Continue. Well, actually, let's go back a little bit further back. Okay, this wall that you end up looking at right after you the smoke. This wall you're looking at right here. If you hug that wall, then that gives you more information than if you were in heaven, right? Because you're you're closer to a lobby, so that if there's noise a lobby, you'll you'll hear it. Ah, uh, interesting. So I'm holding an angle. I've never thought about that, but holding a position for noise rather than for any sort of peak. Yeah, but it's a trade-off, right? You're you're taking a higher risk so if they are shift walking up a shift walking up sewers and then they suddenly burst onto site now you're stuck in like a 1v2 1v3 whatever that's the risk but the reward is that you get more information compared to if you're in heaven that's a very safe position but you get much less information right by the time you see them or hear them they could very easily be on the site within the next few seconds so there's a trade-off I've just never thought about that before. I've just never thought about holding a position to hear things. I don't know why. I've always, I've just never thought about that. Yeah. Okay. That, that's okay. great. 
on the window. Maybe. But the reason I'm thinking is that having a safe route is because um, the information to be gained is not important because I'm kind of gambling that they're not going to be A based on on the previous rounds. They've never really like kind of defaulted A or walked up A. And the, the server died at C, so they're not C. And they've shown presence at garage. So if I was the enemy team, I would probably be working up mid or pushing to garage right after the stage dies. Yeah, I guess my logic was thinking like, oh, they not haven't shown C, so they're not going C. <laughs> I didn't really think about Garage to see. I don't know why. So right now, Jet should hopefully cover Garage so that okay. Sova isn't taking too much pressure. And uh, if your goal is to like watch over your site, I would either pick up the two options. Either I would go to Heaven or I would play with Gear, go to like Sewer to get more information. Nice, we have a spike. Nice, and it's exactly in seaside. Yep, so just full sprint. Careful about peeking garage, it's not clear yet. Okay, very nice. This looks like an easy win. I want to TP here because your team is like. Your team's like very active. They haven't, your team has not shown any reason to like play defense. <laughs> no, like, like right after this TP happens, your Reina is just like, I'm gonna flash, I'm gonna push, push you along. <laughs> Alright, we're all pretty good. So yeah, I think the, the biggest issue, issue is still like the, the timing, the positioning, and training out your teammates and trying to be as aware as possible of everything that's happening around you. And I think like that example where we went over um where was it at the attack, right? So like this this event was a really good example of where like all these things like snowball because of A and then snowball then because of B and then because of C and so forth, right? This could have been a very easily one round if like things went smoothly. Where like like right here, if a smoke went off, well, if you coordinated, if communicated, you'd be like, hey, don't peek yet, or like, let me know when you're about to peek, I'll smoke heaven for you, whatever, so that this sage doesn't die, and this sage with the bomb doesn't die. So it gives like a huge audible cue to the whole enemy team, hey, rotate A, because Spike's here. <laughs> and then next mistake is like, your team like hitting too early, because your team's not coordinating it, whether to like, to like, uh, cut noise versus like hard commit. <laughs> that and just then, looks like, so silly. The you, smoke flying to see as the team pushes A at once. It's like, oh, hey, let's go, guys. I don't know. There's something about that where it's just like, that's just like the like the picture perfect image yeah. of just like uncoordinated, <laughs> like yeah. a smoke going C and that being the go to go A. I don't know. Like the I main really reason your team actually. Even took sight is just because everybody popped off. Like Silver gets a double kill, then Reina gets the third kill. Like that's the only reason like sight was secured. If it was like any other team that was like smarter, they would have just like immediately rotated as soon as uh, as soon as the say spike down. Like that's the cue that everyone rotates and starts pushing everything. Whether it's like they rotate to CT spawn, to group of A, or if someone starts to push outside of B to like push up grass or something to get information. Or somebody pushes C, whatever, to get information. Then, okay, what else? Uh, okay, so your team pops off. Then this this concept about committed versus uncommitted angles. Then this concept about um, watching the mini-up, so the key about um, maximizing your awareness and being ready to trade. If your goal is to trade someone from heaven, be prepared when someone gets exposed to heaven and dies like that, trade them immediately. Second thing is using utility and then playing around in utility. 75. And then I realize as I'm saying this is actually a lot of stuff <laughs> to be worried about. <laughs> and then, then yeah, the last thing is, is trading out. Trades, crossfires, playing off contact. Right. Any yeah, questions so it, far? 
Nah, it, it just really helps because you, this is the second time you've coached me. And it really helps because, I mean, this is on the same day of both of those games that we reviewed. But let you just see, like, there's like a pattern where I play where I, I could trade out my team better. <laughs> I take 1v1s when I should take 2v1s. I'm not smoking to isolate angles when I have smokes up. Um, but I can just see the patterns more clearly because we've gone over it twice, you know? Yeah. Um... Overall, I think you yeah. did much better than the previous VOD you submitted, so I think there's oh, definitely cool. improvement. Oh, that's good, because this one's afterwards, so I think either a day after or like just like a few hours after the VOD. I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I hope yeah. hopefully the next one is even better than this one. Um, yeah. I will let you know that you coached me, last time you coached me was like three days ago, correct? Uh, something like that. Right? Three days? Yeah, three days, yeah. I was gold one. Now I'm gold three. Oh, so nice. huge. Ever since you coached me, I haven't lost a single game, basically. Basically, nice. haven't lost any games. Yeah. And I've been playing. I mean, I have lost. I think I lost like one or two, maybe. But I, I basically won like almost all the games. That's huge, right? Like, I don't usually rank up very fast. So that's that's really huge. Uh, I don't know if it's just, just like a bit of luck as well, but like, I definitely <laughs> appreciate it because. I do believe, like, I'm definitely noticing things more about my, um, I don't know, about the way I play. Like, these things, like, if you didn't tell me about them, I just wouldn't notice them, if that makes sense. I just wouldn't, like, now that I'm aware of it, it's, like, easy for me to understand, okay, okay, when I watch my own VODs now, I'm a bit more aware as well. Yeah. Because I can sort of listen to your voice a little bit, like, okay, yeah, he probably wouldn't agree with this move, it's, like, too... Uh, not off my team enough, blah, 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 things like that. So it's really helpful if, yeah, it's really helpful stuff. Okay, right, sounds good. Mm. Yeah, I'm just going to try and go for plat next if I don't de-rank to gold two. I'm going to try <laughs> and go see if I can get to plat next and how we go from there. Mm. Yeah, I guess I don't really have any, like, uh, big questions or anything because I have to eat <laughs> so I might just have to go and do that because I've like I've had like dinner there while you've been coaching me but like I just wanted to wait for you to finish <laughs> everything before I eat yeah all right and right, is well, any uh, questions from like the other person like, I'm biased do you have anything I, you want to ask just, I've just been enjoying listening just been learning a whole bunch <laughs> I'm kind of yeah. just, just um just like floating between gold one and gold two, but just looking for areas where I can improve. Yeah, I see. It, it, I just find it so informative. Like I just wouldn't. Like it, I feel like the videos that you watch, like on YouTube and stuff, for like tips on like positioning or like timing, they don't really. I don't know. It just doesn't really feel as useful as like what I mm -hmm. learned from the yes. coaching somehow. Because it's personalized, right? Like you see your own mistakes just like splashed across the screen, and then yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 it is, but it's just the style is different. I feel like a lot of the videos, it's just like, it goes over like, I, I think it's just different. I think it's just, this, this is a bit deeper than what I can find on like, YouTube stuff, oh, yeah. somehow. I find it a bit deeper, like the, just like con the concept of like angle isolation, like 1v1s and stuff is just like, the way it's explained again and again, it just helps a lot somehow. I don't know. Yeah, for sure. Anyways, I gotta go eat, so I really appreciate your session and your time, as always. Okay. Alright, no problem. If I uh, wanna get reviewed in the features, let me know. Yeah, sure. Uh, I feel like I bullied you a lot, like, recently. <laughs> I bullied you today and a few days before, so I guess I'll give it a bit, uh, see how I play, and then maybe, like, maybe like in a week, we could do, like, another session, or whenever you're free. Yeah, it depends, because I just got a bunch more requests from other people, other potential students, so it might be yeah. some time. Understandable. I'll see if I can apply those things up to the next session. See okay. if I can actually uh, improve in those aspects. All right. Sounds good. Yep. All right. Uh, see you.